Hello, and welcome everybody to, I think this is our third show. It is. Third R&D Plays MTG show. And, you know, initially the idea was to have it be headlined by myself and Melissa, but where have you been the last couple weeks, yeah. Melissa? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the plan. I was supposed to be the one of the front runners of the show, right. and I missed the first two weeks. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, I was doing very uh, meaningful things. I was mm -hmm. in Japan at GP Chiba. How was the, that? For the past few weeks. It was good. The GP was cool. I met a lot of really nice players gave away some legends packs i saw that you were tweeting out pictures of like uh, some like really sweet old packs that you were giving yeah, out. yeah basically like if someone played against me and they had either a really sweet deck or they were just like like i had to be inspired in some way right mm -hmm. so like one player had this brawl deck that was it was a legendary theme so his commander was the your legends get plus two plus two uh, and his entire deck was uh just all legendary creatures i was like well i have a legends pack right here this guy obviously deserves a Legends pack. Oh my so goodness. So got a Legends so pack. So the key to getting the sweetest pack possible is to just go with the theme of like the oldest booster that you had on you. At least for me. Like that, <laughs> that's what I was going for. Check out my all beta out deck. And then you're like, here yeah, you go. Here's a here beta pack. Here's my beta deck. Can I have a beta pack, please? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to be playing some more Arena today. We're going to be playing some sweet M19 Limited. Yeah. We have a lot of different things that show up here. What's really funny is I'm still trying to like learn how to use the interface. Can't see it on here, but if we hit play in the bottom right corner, all right, we can hit it. Oh, so here's, here's all the things that we're allowed to play in. Yeah. Let's see. The Brewer's Delight. Brewer's Delight. At that. Win some cards. Some constructed. Light constructed. So we're gonna do competitive draft. Yeah, we can do competitive draft. So also one of the things you know, again, this is a you know slightly different type of stream. If you have any like development questions. That's why we're here. Uh, we're gonna try to answer as much as we can. Um, and uh, Melissa has a lot more cool stories than I do because I she's been working here cool a lot stories, longer than I do. But we probably also have sweet Pro Tour stories too because we were both pro players before we came to Wizards. Right. So we can basically answer your questions about anything competitive or R&D related, within right. reason of course. Like yeah. we can't tell you what are the next like five years. Of, Ask of us everything except for is this card going to be in this set? Because <laughs> that's a commonly asked question. Uh, yeah. You know, and I've actually been drafting a decent amount of M19, and I've actually really enjoyed it. And uh, a little bit sad that we're not going to be actually seeing it at the Pro Tour, but we get to see a team event, and I'm a big fan of team events, so. Yeah, we're going to actually see Legacy for the first time at the Pro Tour, with the exception of uh, Team Worlds. Mm -hmm. Like, that has been Legacy in the, in the past. Uh, if you guys don't know what Team Worlds is, like, back years ago when we had Nationals, um, three people on every uh, national, well, no, every top finisher of nationals would be the the team, right? Mm -hmm. And you were on it too, if I remember correctly. I am the right? last. Uh, I was a member of the last U.S. National World Championship team. That's a, that that's the the biggest thing I've ever won. I've won very few things, but that was the one thing. It was myself, Sam Black, and Mike Jacob. We won uh, world team world champs in 2008. Yeah, that is no longer a thing anymore, yeah, but, yeah. but back then Team Worlds was like a triple format thing, right. if I remember correctly. I never played on it myself, but... Yeah. Alright, anyway, back to the draft. Or... Let's take the rare. I like the rare. But what about this sweet psychic symbiont? Well, okay, so that thing gives you a lot of value, and the other card's also pretty good, the Brawl Bash Ogre. If you're doing... Because I know Black Red's doing the sacrifice thing. Right. But I, I think white is considered one of the strongest colors. Yeah. And let me just look at the body. Like, like the, the floor is four mana, three, four, five mana, double strike. And then, like, if you just randomly pick up other knights, it just seems like it gives you a yeah. lot. I do but. think this is the strongest card in the pack, but it's hard to pick up. Like, it's hard to pass <laughs> on this card. It's like, what is it, a four for one? You get this guy, you make them lose one, you draw one. Yes. They what, use removal. What, what, spell okay, on. what does the chat think? Should we take the Valiant Knight or the gold card? Keep in mind, these picks are not timed. You can take, we can take as long as we want. Within reason. Uh, no, and we are currently not picking against players. Currently, the draft is set where you draft against bots. They are currently programming in the function to be able to draft with other players. So you draft against bots, and then afterwards, you get to play against people with decks that they drafted. Oh, uh, well, yeah. the people have spoken. Um, in previous drafts that I've done, I've I've taken this card and I just like lost every game I played. So if the format is pretty fast. If we're going to be results oriented, I should be taking this knight card. <laughs> and also look at this lion. Yeah, How I remember. Did you pass up on this lion. Yeah, I remember we spent a lot of work on this too. Uh, there there are a lot of different iterations on like the numbers on this card, and uh, it used to do a lot of different things. I think, right? Um, 
I thought it made like there was like a, an ability to like make knights indestruct. There was like a oh. lot of different things it could do. Oh no no, it bounced the knight. I think you're thinking of a different card. Oh, I was think, it? I think you're thinking of the one that doubled your creatures. Uh, no, sorry, it made tokens equal to the number of creatures you have. Oh, that might be the one. Because I believe that card also uh, you can sacrifice to give things indestructible. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I also just love like that. Do you see the art on that thing? Look at that. That is the most majestic of beasts. Look at that giant. Mm. It's a nice. It's a nice picture. I appreciate nice pictures. Yeah, you, uh, Lena was the one that we might have been working yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the one. Um, She's yeah. like the selfless spirit type effect. Yeah, right? I, I believe at one point this card. It is a knight, and it did care about knights at one point. Yeah. Um, this card was. To be, I, I got to play against this thing. Is really hard to be limited. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What are we taking All here? All right, hold on, hold on. Because, I see. Because I see. we have, we don't have infinite time here, so hold on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Is that an elemental night horse? No. So look at this card. Ooh. This is one of the few cards in Magic where if you, it doesn't matter what you do, like you could be just like winning the game and, but your opponent draws this and it just feels like everything that you have done at this point was nullified. Yeah, so this is the type of card too. It's weird because like it's in the like the exact color you don't want this effect, right? Imagine if sleep was just like a red or white spell. It would be completely ridiculous, right? And limited. Whereas I've had decks where I have this and I'm like a control deck because you're blue. And it's like, what the heck? At the same time, I think the upside is so high that it's probably something that we're interested in. I think it's probably between sleep and divine mare. Um, yeah, I mean, if we want There's... to say on color, I think this is a very reasonable pick here. Right. Um, so, for example, um, if I was playing in a competitive draft for high stakes, like the Pro Tour or something, mm -hmm. I think this card has the best chance of, of helping me 3-0 a draft. That makes sense. If I want to play it safe, I would probably take take Vengeance. Yeah, and I guess green-white is not necessarily the best color combination, yep. uh, just traditionally because you lack removal. Uh, to be fair, we're not like married to our first pick, but we're trying to at least pair these cards with that first pick that we took, and blue-white is certainly a, a nicer color combination that you'd lean towards being. So I, I'm in for sleep if you want to sleep. Yeah, I'm in for sleep. Also, one other thing about Vine Mare, I think this card is actually very overrated. It's great if you're suiting it up with enchantments, but just as a 5-3 for 4, it you yeah. get blocked so easily. You put Oakum Form on it, you can just block. You can still block with two three threes. It's still a two for two. Yeah, there are still match. Yeah, there are matchups though. If you are playing against, I guess, the black deck where it's really hard to block. All right, we did it. We took sleep. We took sleep. Speaking of uh, horses, <laughs> were we just talking about horses? We were. The Vine Mare is a horse. Yeah, horse tribal. I knew it. Wow, this pack stinks. Okay, well, let's see what our options are. Um, yeah. So blue white is the artifact color. A color pair so right uh, there's also some like evasion this, which is like it's it's an okay card if you want to be super aggressive right but um, I, I don't think i would take this card here yeah also i mean there's there's like of course the um, black like there's shield mare which gains you life which helps if you're the black white life gain deck um i'm just looking at all the other comments here and they seem really weak like i don't want anything in the middle or bottom row really so i'm just looking at the top row and I'm looking at what are the options? Gaspar Twins, Shield Mare, maybe Inspired Charge? Yeah, so what is actually the best card in the pack? I think the best card is actually the Fire Elemental. <laughs> really? Which is not really saying a whole lot. Right, it's... right, right. I think I would lean towards some of the more uh, higher upside cards in like. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Like maybe you just stay on color and take Shield Mare? Yeah, I, I, I think I would, that's where I would lean. Because Gaspar Twins, I mean, I think I'd rather just have Colossal Dreadmaw, honestly, over something like the Gaspar Twins. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is worth jumping into green for. It's not like it, like I don't want to switch to green after these two first picks here. Like right. I still want to kind of stay I, on color. I'd, I'd rather just take the white card because we have the Valiant Knight than take something like Fire Elemental, which I think is kind of replaceable. So that's where I'm at. So I think I take Shield Mirror, but I'm not yeah, happy about it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. And yeah, definitely not happy about it. But but hey, our first two picks are are really. Oh, Oresco Swift Claw is not a knight. That's so sad. It's a kitty cat. Yeah. All right, Cat Warrior. So I think this card is really strong. Yep, that card's very decent. Bone to Ash is strong in a control deck, which I don't know what we are yet. Right. But and then we have a couple of decent green options too, Centaur Corsair and the Elvish Rejuvenator. Yeah, those are both. So that could be really a sign cards. that the bots are not taking green cards. Uh, but I don't mind also just staying on color. Uh, wh one thing about the Swift Claw, I will say, is that um, there's a lot of ways to incidentally ping in this format and lots of 1-1s. So yep, like I found that true. the combination of Doom Dissenter, Goblin Instigator, 
Uh, is Goblin Instigator in this? Yeah, it is. Goblin Instigator mm -hmm. and uh, you know, even the Skeleton Archer, yeah, the skeleton archer just makes it so really that X1s one. is not really where you want to be a lot of the time. So I think you just want to take the Aven Wind Mage um, or one of the green cards, but probably yeah, just Yeah, I'm leaning Wind towards Aven Wind Mage. The card's strong. It's comparable to like the strong green cards in the pack. Right. And I want to play Sleep, so I'm yep. going to stick with Makes blue here. sense. Look at that. They put it in... Casting cost order for me. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. That, that's that's how I that's how I roll. So, all right, what are we taking here? The best creature in all of Magic, Colossal Dreadmaw. Uh, wow, ooh, another magic, horse. Huh? Three of the horses. Yeah, we did get past a lot of horses. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not really seeing anything strong in our colors that I want to play. Like, yeah, I'm looking at the disperse. Yeah, so I think the option is between disperse and the. Disperse, disperse, mm -hmm. disperse, and the Gearsmith Guardian. Uh, the Gearsmith Guardian in certain decks is just kind of a five mana five five. And if we're going to be blue white, having artifact creatures is strong. And then, but like you know, and with a card like Disperse, I like having like one in my deck. But I mean, I think they're both reasonable yeah. picks. On the other hand, you can take a Disperse like twelfth and right, be happy about it. Also, I'm looking at this Colossal Dread Maw because it's the strongest card in the pack. Right. And we're getting past green, so maybe we're just a green-blue deck or something with, with sleep as our way to break through. Yeah, we could. Although, I don't know if the Dreadmaw is that much stronger than Gearsmith Guardian in the right... Like, if this is consistently a 5 and a 5-5. Five five, yeah, that's true. Right? It's like, I don't know if we want to move off of the color just yet. I might wait for one more pick to see if like I see a green card. So I think I'm leaning towards one of these and I'll, I'll let yeah. you decide. All right, well then I'm gonna go with the Gearsmith Guardian. Okay. Like I said, I think you can pick up Disperses later. Like they're just not desirable cards. Right. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. So Scholar of Stars, if we're drafting the blue-white artifact deck, that's the card we want. I think so. It says draw a card on it. It does say draw a card. I mean, it's awkward that our one artifact is a five drop, but like, there's still no, plenty oh, of cheap we're artifacts. We're gonna get a lot of those uh, those three mana flyers that say ETB draw a card. Right. right. We're gonna get tons of. Them. And, and they just work well together too. Right. It's a blue creature, so I mean, Daybreak Chaplain is a fine blocker. We don't have any twos yet, but it's still early in the draft, so I think we can get those. Yeah, if we definitely want. Scholar of Stars here. Yeah. All right. What does that amulet do? It does many things. Whenever you become the target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls counter. To oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is the modern card. Yes. The anti the anti storm card. Um all right. We so have this card which is not a knight. No, no. So we made a mistake when I was here drafting with majors. Okay. Where we did not we had the opportunity to to take a submerged boneyard because we might open chromium. And then oh. we and then we didn't take it and we opened chromium. Of course. So I feel like now is a time to right that wrong, take the submerged boneyard and set us up for the chromium. <laughs> well, besides also, this that, is—I mean, this is replaceable, right? Like, like, yeah. Besides that, like, I don't even know what our second color is. Like, I think we're blue, and then we have this knight card that we don't have any knights. Right. We could be blue black. And this card, which is not even that good. We so, actually have not seen very many good white cards, have we? Yeah. So, like, I don't even know if we're white. So, I would actually take the submerged boneyard here. Right. Right. I mean, there's also like rocks oracle yeah, if you want and, to. Yeah. I'm also open to take green cards too. Yeah, I mean, maybe the Oracle is just better than because mana fixing is not that important. Like, we might... because we curve is so high. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, we might be low on playables if we're switching colors. I mean, you can just take the Boneyard, whatever. Like, we're going to splash something sweet. And also, <laughs> this is bots. It's not like we're going to be playing against the deck we passed. Right, 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 right. Oh, what do we do? Rocks, Oracle, or Boneyard? We're timing out, so I think you should make a play. Oh, you're right, you're yeah. right. All right, I'm going to go Boneyard. Okay. For that chromium we might open. Ah, uh, now there's a giant spider. Now okay, <laughs> all right. Well, if we yeah, white is black, very we not have open. Doom Dissenter. Yeah, I don't think we're white here. I think it's like blue black or blue green. Green felt more open than black, but yeah. I think. Do you want to take Doom Dissenter or giant spider? Giant spider. We're gonna get rewarded in pack three with like a lot of sweet green cards. So I think okay, let's I think take the giant spider. spider. Yeah. The only the other card I would consider actually, oh look we got the blue, slant. the blue green land. The other card I would consider in that pack was the Gearsmith Prodigy in case you want to do the blue artifact deck. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take this land. Yep. Okay, so Field Creeper, which is fine, and we have artifact rewards, so I'm leaning towards that right now. I think this is like a replaceable card, and if we're we if we are green, our six drop slot 
has stuff like Colossus Dread Dreadmoss, so I wouldn't take this here. So yeah, I just think it's this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, white is definitely not open. There's that fire elemental we were yeah, talking about earlier. Yeah, I don't think we're, like, I mean, we saw, like, no red cards, right? Yeah. I think I'd lean towards just taking a black card that we might play. Like, we might be blue-black. We, we might play this walking card. Yeah, I mean. Can we hide cards? Uh, we, we can. We cannot No, hide. no, you can drag it to the sideboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right, so what do we take here? Um. I guess we just take the Tranquil Expanse. Splash white. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Look, we're covering our bases here. Look at all these lands that we drafted. We're setting up for these these mythic dragons. How's it going? Rest in pieces. Just good to be here. This is a lot of fun. They just let me draft for work. I mean, what, what more can I ask for? Although, okay, so let's that take a true. look here. <laughs> Ooh, the Ox Wand. People uh, love this card. Yeah, I think the card's really good. Yeah, so especially if we're going to be like blue-green potentially... Just being able to, like, if you just have a bigger creature, like, you can just, a brick wall, like, you can just deal with all their bombs. Also, like, you can just target your own things and upgrade them sometimes. It's really good with, like, on a Doom Dissenter. There's also Druid of the Cowl, which is strong if we're going to be green. Uh, Electrify and Strangling Spores are fine removal effects. But I think I'm looking at either the Wand or the Druid here. So, yeah, those are the two cards I was looking at, too. Do you want to just take the artifact? Um, yeah, I think it's the artifact. All right, let's especially go. Especially because we do have artifact rewards, so we do want artifacts, <laughs> and this is a really good one. I yeah. think it's it's better than Druid of the Cal. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Wow, this pack is nice. So when we're done using our wand, we turn it into a 5-5. Five five. Ooh, are we just building a theme deck here? Or. Artifact theme or deck? Or do we turn our field creeper into a 5-5? Five five? We can turn field, I mean, I, if I had field creeper on turn two, I certainly would do that. What are the other cards here? So. Don't have to worry about the red cards. Electrify Volley Veteran are fine. Luminous Bonds is good. Yeah, Luminous Bonds. Sky Scanner is also good. Yeah, that's... Which, like, so if we're going to take... It's like, what's our second color? Sky Scanner, I think we're just taking this. Because it just means we're, we're drafting the artifact deck, which I think... And this that just has way this. more upside? I think so, yeah. Um, let's see. This Luminous Bonds is tempting. It is, given that... Our white's not good, though. We have this this knight card and no It doesn't even go with anything that we've done, right? Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, I don't think we're taking... I would probably spots. take the animator or the sky scan. Let's take the animator. Like, yeah, I think it's the animator. I, I It's like high-risk, high-reward type card. High-reward. <laughs> no risk. Bugler. Do you know what do, Bugler do, do, do. finds? The skilled animator. It finds so many things. It finds this guy. It finds this guy. Yeah, Bugler's just great. It finds this guy. But that means we're we're going to be white if we take this. And we're going to oh, not be Oh, right. We have to really make a decision here. Oh, man. That's rough. Yeah, uh, Magnus Lanta, who won the grand, the last limited Grand Prix, was ta basically had Bugler in all of his decks. So if we want to win, clearly we should take Bugler. But um, at the same time, yeah, pack one, we saw lots of green. So there's a decent chance we continue to see green. Druid of the Cowl is, I think, one of the best green commons. Yeah. It's, like, very, very if important. If we don't take Bugler, I think we take Druid of the Cowl because we need it for curve. Yeah, and... We want ramp. Right. Yeah, I, I think... Hmm. What's, what's going to suck is we're going to continue seeing white cards probably, but I think green is the correct color to be in, given yeah. what we saw. I don't think we're going to see white in pack three. Yeah, now if we want to be artifacts... Blue white is the better artifact color combination. Yeah. What are the white artifacts? Uh, what are well, the white artifacts? There are cards? white artifact rewards. There's so there's the gold card. The trusty pack beast, which gets bigger if you have an artifact. There's one that is a white card. It's an uncommon. It says if you uh, it says at the beginning of combat you can give one of your artifacts bigger and indestructible. I think I like Druid of the Cow. Yeah, I that's think so. that's what I'm leaning towards. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry, Bugler. All right, we did it. You know what that means. Yeah, sick Goodbye, white, white card. cards. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, we just need to okay. pick up some artifacts here. We need some Fountain of Renewals. We're taking the skill. I mean, uh, Essence Scatter is fine, but yeah. Dub Skilled Animator. Yeah, Let's go. We're taking the Skilled Animator. Then we're just gonna take every Field Creeper ever. Yeah. What is that? It's an artifact, but what does it do? Oh, it's Magistrate Scepter, Mercadian Mass Block All Star. Four, put a charge counter, remove three... Okay, never mind. That's way too much mana to take a turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. It was, right, not, right. it was not an all-star. Uh, and we're we, we're not Blanchwood Armoring, so I think it's either the Basilisk or the Rock's Oracle. What's I our like three mana the card? the Rock's Oracle. Um, 
So we have three mana cards. We don't have a lot of late game yet. Okay. So I just like the Rock Oracle. Oracle here. Yeah. Artifact! I, I think we're going to be cluttered at three. Uh. I'm not worried about the artifacts yet. We'll get artifacts. I think we We're just, almost done with the just pack two. All right. Yeah. Do we take this? Yeah, I, sure. Is it good? Uh, not really. Probably not, but it's like that or Wall of Mist, but Blue Green's pretty good at blocking. Is it? I have never done draft. Is it common to play more than two colors? Not that common. Two colors is the most common. Uh, and then oftentimes if you have a good enough card worth splashing, um, a card that has high impact in the late game, a bomb typically is what you do, you can choose to splash and go three colors. Uh, all right, yeah, there's a field creeper. Let's go. Yeah, I don't see any other yeah. card that I want to take here. We need field creepers. Divination? Oh, yeah. Or giant spider? Well, one draws two cards, so. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a lot of threes. One also makes the sky bigger. Right. Yeah, um, I'm going to take divination because I am not totally sold that we're green. Right. Although, we really have to decide. This we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. Um, but this returns an artifact to hand. It's it's like yeah. a grave digger for our field creepers, which I, I like. I still like. I mean, I don't mind having one disperse in my deck, and I think we're just we just keep taking cards that probably go into our deck. I don't. I just don't think we're going to be white. I think it's very unlikely. Yeah. We can disperse our transmogrifying wand to go infinite ox tribal. It is infinite. What, what, does a skilled animator do it permanently, or is it as long as it's on the battlefield? As long as it's on the battlefield. Oh, ah, okay. I guess we're taking Anticipate. We're not Talonsing, right? Um, would we play Anticipate? Probably not. I mean, you want to just take the Pack Beast in case? We're definitely not taking Talons. Um, right. I wouldn't play this in this deck. I could still consider taking this just in case we want to be white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take this and see what happens. So I'm going to put in the sideboard, though. Hey, it's another field creep. <laughs> we have to take it. We have two skilled enemies. We, we have no choice. To, we need to make a 5-5. Five, five, oh, my goodness. All right, fine. Uh, oh, we can, oh, yeah, th there's de-drafting or doesn't matter at all. this and hide it. Because we're playing against computers. Also, like, we're, we don't have that many. We don't have as many playables as it looks because we have three lands that are shown right now. Yeah, let's see how yeah. many playables we actually have. It's just uh, 16. Currently okay. on 16. Demanding Dragon? Ugh. He's so demanding. That card is ridiculous. More horses. Yeah. I mean, that one's like really hard to cast unless we're mono blue. It might just be Essence Scatter, I, honestly. I think Essence Scatter is the pick, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, just that Essence That Demanding scatter. Dragon. All right, yeah, Essence Scatter it is. I was just looking at what we have and just thinking, can we just go mono blue play with the Demanding Dragon? Is that just a better deck? But Essence Scatter is probably fine. All right. Oh, I, wow. Switching colors again. I think well, we take this card here. Yeah, yeah, it's just a five mana five five in our deck currently. And we have to also make sure that we have enough blue creatures, which I don't think we do, so we should prioritize them higher. Yep. All right, something sweet. Like an Omen Speaker? Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it lose Defender, or is it? will it be a Defender? Oh, for Skilled Animator? Ah, uh, wait. It doesn't lose Defender. No! But the, is the bookcase still good? Like, it, it you're, we're blue-green. We're going to have a lot of big things. It's going to help force through damage in the late game. It is an artifact Yeah. Uh, um, for Scholar of Stars. We don't have that much artifact synergy. I mean, um, the other consideration is just to ramp. I think the Elvish Rejuvenator is also... Yeah, Something re reasonable, especially like, with the Ox one. There's also an argument for Omen Speaker because we have two Gearsmith Guardians and we don't have a lot of blue creatures, so we might want a blue creature. Yeah. I mean, we do have four, five two-drops, like Essence Scatter, Druid of the Cow, and Field Creeper. I, I, I'm i personally leaning towards Bookcase or Rejuvenator. But. Hmm. Just I don't I, think this deck needs Rejuvenator. We have a lot of threes, and we don't really have a ton okay. to ramp into. Okay. Then I like the bookcase, because I think the... Oh, I don't know. People, people like the Omen Speaker. All right. Let's take the Omen Speaker, then. Yeah, like, you, Omen you, Speaker you, is just, like, we need blue creatures. Yeah, that's fair. This is two blue creatures. 
and it makes an artifact. It's one blue creature and a Oh, you're right. Walker. It's one blue creature. I, but I mean, I think this is the pretty easy pick here. We need it's, blue creatures. We need artifacts. It's this, a blue creature and artifact. both roles. Yeah, yeah. This, this card is yeah. really good. I was looking at Poison Tip Archer, but if that wasn't in the pack, I was like, like that is a card good enough to potentially splash. But What do you think about this Marauder's Axe? Well, it um, is a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> but then it's not an equipment. Sure. <laughs> I'm okay with just... I think it's pretty good. I think we just... Like, honestly, like, we have the two skilled animators. Let's just try to see what happens by, like, playing as many cheap artifacts as possible. Yeah, I think this card is also good. Right. It's a mana sink. Equipments are usually stronger in poor <laughs> Omniscience. Sets. I yeah, think we just take Essence Scatter. Yeah, I, th yeah. I think it's clearly Essence Scatter. Um, yeah. I can see the case for Rock's Oracle, but... Who skilled animator with the Aviation Pioneer? That's real nice. The Thopter. Just yes. turn a Thopter into 5-5. Five five. We need more Thopters. So are we just all in on on blue aggro and sleep? How many yes. artifacts do we... So 3, 4, 5, 6... 7 yeah. real artifacts. All right, and then let's the, just do it. Maybe one. we're just mono blue. Whoa, really? Do we I have enough know. playables? I don't think I don't, we, we do. Just are, we have three green cards. Yeah. Let's take the Gearsmith right, Prodigy. we're going to take this and... See what happens. Scholar! Whoa. Yes! All right. Hide those green cards. I'm just, just for, like, I'm just very curious. Uh, which one of these would be play? Uh, uncomfortable chill? Major, I guess. Major says he likes the card. I think the card's okay. All right. Eh, I Whatever. like it better than anticipate, I guess. Yeah. Totally we, lost? Yeah, totally lost. I mean, if we're mono, we might just play it. All right. Whatever. Mighty leap Whatever. if we take white cards. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, invoke the divine. So they can't play it against us, those bots. We'll We're missing them. the Tempest Jin, but that's in Dominaria. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so if you hit this, it kind of shows you what oh, the nice. deck would look like. Oh, nice. This is so much better. Right, because okay. th this is classic, like, magic, ma okay. magic online I'm stuff. I'm very confused right now. Let me move all these cards away. I'm going to just take out everything green and white. They keep adding lands to my deck as I remove right. cards, don't they? Yeah, so this is 11, 18, 21, plus 324. We can do these, it! These lands are messing me up. I need to right. remove them from the deck. So we have 17 islands. Whoa, is this really our deck? Uh, we have to actually cut a card. We have way too many playables. <laughs> Where does it say the number of cards? The total number of cards? If you, I think maybe if you click back, it shows you. Yeah, 41. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. So we weren't way over. What does your workday look like as a member of r and Well, a lot of different things. Um, you know, uh, a large portion of it is exactly what you would expect from members of play design, at least, is uh, lots of play testing. You know, we, we definitely um, have a very, very heavy emphasis on, we can also maybe play 16 lands, because we're mono. I was thinking 16 lands, yeah. Uh, we definitely put a heavy emphasis on standard, right? Um, Part of the reason why the team was formed in the first place was to make sure we, you know, try to get standard in a good spot. Uh, we also do plenty of drafts uh, for all the different sets that we're working on uh, and try to give good feedback. And, you know, our primary job as members of play design is making sure, you know, everything's in a good spot. So, you know, when we play, because we've played competitively, we put so many hours into the game, we can kind of quickly spot out like, hey, this thing seems a little bit off on rate. You know, I think you should shave a toughness. I think you should shave, I think this needs to cost one more, blah, blah, blah. So we do a lot of, you know, helping with the tweaking and tuning on the rates of cards as well uh, when we practice drafts. And then of course we have lots of meetings. That's something that of course I had to get used to being a, uh, just a streamer and making my own hours. Yeah. Now I'm working in a, you know, an actual like uh, business environment. So a lot of meetings, a lot, lot more structure. Um, and just, just for us to make sure we're, Kind of all on the same page. Well, I can say I think standard is in a good spot, so job well done. Thanks, rest in pieces. Yeah, and we're still getting to the ideal standard that we want because right. play design only was formed a year ago. Right, right. Um, so the first uh, environment where you'll see like pretty much the entire focus was uh, like with play design, um, doing the main play testing was I think spaghetti. Uh, yeah, I think GRN. I think it might be GRN. So, yeah, you know, uh, we de I definitely got to, you know, spend some time on this set and the last set, but, like, not a ton. But I definitely got to spend some, and, like, uh, it, it's it's definitely, like, what we call, like, a level-up moment where you're, like, 
now everything is out in the wild and you just kind of see. You just cross your fingers yeah. and hope everything is great. Yeah, because you, realize, you know we <laughs> uh, that, that you didn't actually know everything that you thought you knew. Right, right, right. It, like, it's it's see all the mistakes well, you made. That's the thing. Uh, you can also just battle if you want. Are we ready to battle? Are we playing the sixteen land mono blue deck? <laughs> I don't this, know. Is this for real? I just want to make sure this is for real. Well, we will be. Able well, it's to cast it's this not a big one. cost to like like you might want trusty pack beast and some white cards, but like we don't even have a lot of great white cards. Yeah, I don't think I do. Yeah. All right, we'll just play mono blue and see what yeah, happens. As much we'll as I fun. would love to take all the credit for you know like how great Dominaria did, that most of that you gotta you gotta give props to uh, Dave Humphreys and that squad and and whatever play designers kind of uh, helped mold that format. Yeah, uh, I guess back then it was like. Myself, Andrew Brown, um, Michael Majors just started during that time. Um, I came in a week after. Yep. Yeah. Adam Prozac, Brian Hawley, who most people don't yeah. know who he is, but but he's yeah. actually our manager now. Yep. Yeah. Hey, look. All right. Well, we have no. Um, I believe. Artifact, I believe. You gotta keep. Yeah, I do believe that we will draw a field creeper <laughs> by turn two. Yeah. Okay. So keep because who wants to mulligan? Yeah. That's no fun. We're to fairy, which is. Who our opponent? Wait, did our, what, did our opponent mulligan to? I don't know what they mulligan to. Our opponent mulligan to five. All right. Well, we did. No, not. no, no. Six. Four cards in hand. Land. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay. Um. So it looks like I have to do very little clicking in this game because I didn't have to click through any of my turns. I just played a land and my turn just ended. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Although it does say you have nothing in hand. But I think there's yeah. a mode that you can use to not have that be the case. Well, I have a disperse now, so it's yeah. it, now it's going to make me go through all the motions. Right. Although you can use the bottom right corner to F6. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, nice. That this is, is this is new. I the last time <laughs> I played this wasn't there. Cool. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to disperse anything, so I'm just going to end. Wow, look at that, and I can make it go back and forth yeah. too. That's trusty, cool. rusty, as we call it. Do I want to disperse that? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I'm just going to play this bird. Yep. Alright, bird. This is going to be the saddest Scholar of Stars ever. I might not cast it on turn four. Yeah. I could draw something else. We'll see. So you're going to make this bird bigger and first strike. Ooh, our opponent's giving us the beatdowns. Yeah, this is true, but we'll be okay. We'll block the bird next turn. Right. Yeah, I think we're just playing a Naked Scholar of Stars. Maybe. We have. I, there's I like. I don't see anything yeah, better. Yeah. yeah, you're right. We might just need to double block that Bogart brute potentially. I don't think it's time to do that yet. Well, yeah, I'm just. Uh, so end turn. Uh, I would rather do it next turn, having totally lost and disperse up in case our that opponent makes sense. has something. That makes sense. I would love to just draw Field Creeper and just make a five-five. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to block. We just take that. I mean, worst case scenario, if we just completely draw a bunch of bricks, we might just play out Skilled Animator, because it just blocks the Drill Master. Or we can probably wait a turn. We can just play the Prodigy. Like the Prodigy. Uh, yeah, the, the Prodigy does block the this Drill guy. Master. So, yeah, that, that sounds fine. Yeah. And then we have Disperse up. I'm not ready to play this no, yet. No, no, no. We still gotta wait. Come on! Disperse also makes our Aven Wind Mage bigger, just Ooh, in case our opponent. Yeah, that's nice. Does something in case our opponent I mean, wants our to shock it or something? Yeah. If our opponent just plays like Inspire Charge or any of those things, we are in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's uh, it's on us. Hit click oh. the attack. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not like we didn't try to put artifact creatures in our deck. We're playing three field creepers. Yeah, we have. Five artifact, real artifact creatures. We have right. one of that bird maker. Okay, so hit okay. block. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to block. I want right. to block that. that I want to block that. Yep. That's that it. looks great. Yep. He might have the uh, inspired charge. Inspired charge. Yeah. I think if he had the inspired charge, he'd attack with the falcon too, though. So we are taking three. Yeah. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have bane fire. <laughs> I don't a, think we're in a position a to play around cat. bane fire. Okay. We might need to play the skilled animator. Soon. Okay, come on. We uh, uh, the Thopter maker, the aviation guy would be awesome here. Yes. Come on. Ugh. Hmm. Um, we have to play this, I think. Well, I we, can we, we can cast totally lost. Totally lost this and yeah. block him. Yeah, 
I think th that's I think that might be better because I think the way we win is by drawing an artifact to skilled animate. Like that's our win condition. Ugh. It doesn't feel good. All right, fine. Okay. So I'm going to block. All right, ready. I guess we can First just block. block. We can just eat the falcon, right? Yeah, we're gonna eat that. Okay. One blocker and then, and then cast totally, totally lost. lost. So just drag it out to yeah. Boom. Our guy is bigger. We're at four. He's gonna draw that Bart thing next turn. Ooh, it's oh, gonna, gonna have give haste. It haste. Ugh. Yes, <laughs> we drew a five five. We did it. We drew a five five, and we have and the disperse up. up. This is nice. Uh, yeah, that's a five five, and uh, can we attack? Can we attack? That's a great question. So our opponent's gonna give Bogart brute haste. Yeah, we're maybe gonna attack. double block. He's gonna kill this, and then we're gonna just have this. So may maybe maybe we just leave it back and double block Wind Mage and Marauder's Axe. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, no attack. Just how he drew it up. Exactly. Playing so, our opponent like a fiddle, and we're still losing. So he's going to play Bogger Brute and attack. Yeah, we're just going to block with these. Yep, okay. Right, yep, yep. yep, that sounds good. Resolve, yeah, sure. All the <laughs> yep, deck though. totally sucks. <laughs> N not the best deck we've, we've I would had. not say that it totally sucks. We have some cool things that we can do. We have draws that can just win. Attack. Just that, yep. Yep. So block with... He kills our bird. That's fine. Yeah. Is that fine? I mean, you could double block and then disperse your even wind mage. I was thinking about that, but I don't, yeah. I don't like it. Okay. I just like having a big 5-5. Five five right. And keeping this burst up for later. Alright, what do we want here? A Gearsmith Guardian? Well, we what about Island? Land. What about Island? Can I interest you in that? I guess we're done. Yep, we're done. I have to be careful about clicking enter when I have this disperse up. Right. He might, go, he might be like, shock. Oh, no! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I was going to give a haste. No. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to bounce it. We have to, yeah. And then, I don't know. Oh. What can we draw? This might be a quick redraft, folks. <laughs> I think our deck is good. Oh, it would have been nice if we had that dragon. We would have just played it, right? Do we have flyers like in our like deck? Six do we have mountains? air elemental? We don't, do we? No. Disperse. Oh, what, why is it showing me all this stuff? What? No, you did exactly Essence scatter? What... Yes! Yes! <laughs> Nice! All right, uh, we we two for one ourselves, but we got rid of the angels. All right, so. we still don't. Yeah, attack. same 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 thing. We need to draw a divination. Oh yeah, divination. We should have taken more of those. Yes. Essence on the stack, scatter. boom. How do I cast essence scatter? All right, Just put it right, on the we, stack. We did it. All right, now we still need to draw. Now our opponent has drawn five lands. And a lot of spells, so like statistically, he's gonna start drawing more land. <laughs> no, they're locked. That's just how math works, right? That is not no! divination. All right. Yeah, we're just done. We can't attack when he has this guy in play. We're one man away from omniscience. Oh, oh goodness! Two, it's okay. Two it's okay. Oh no! We're still, we're still not dead. We we're need to draw that five five. Which five? Oh, Gearsmith Guardian? Divination into five five. How oh, Divination into Gearsmith Guardian would be nice. And a Scholar of Stars. Okay. All right. Time to scry. Okay, so let's see Divination into that other guy on top. Ooh! <laughs> All right, how do I put it in the correct uh, order? Is I, I think that's top, top, right? Yeah, yeah, I want to draw yeah, Divination. Yeah, you're drawing Divination into gu Guardian, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, see? Told you. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I did it. Did it do it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, divination right. on top. There we go. <laughs> Private information, too. So we see it and our opponent does. That's Interesting. cool. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Okay, but I think if our opponent just draws, like, any reasonable... Yeah, our opponent just needs anything to kill us. And red-white has a lot of ways. Like, they have... 
Oh no, we're getting like inspired charge or trumpet blasted here. Okay, so let's see. We can block. I want to block this. So if I block like this, inspired charge kills us. Um, the only way to not die to inspired charge is by letting the goblin motivator through. Yeah, um, shock kills us too. So do we just want to block this two two? I mean, this attack makes me think our opponent has inspired charge because they attack with the motivator. Yeah. So I would look like let the motivator through. Uh, do I want to? Yeah. Like, I think that's do I want to block. trade with this and kill this instead? Sure. Uh, so block this, block this, Click block on this. Yeah. Okay, so we got one three on three one. Okay. Block two two. Block two two. This is also better against. Inspired charge by a little bit. Yeah. Because our axe lives. Oh, no, no, it's going to die to the thing. All right. I think we're just going to die, anyways. Uh, oh, yeah. Trumpet okay, Blast. Okay, trumpet that's. Trumpet Blast is like similar. Yeah. All right, so now this is no longer. Look at that. Played around the Trumpet sure. Blast. But we can cast. Oh, this. we need to draw the Gearsmith, though, the one drop. No! Hmm. All right, we're dead. Yeah, yeah we're dead. So we're close. Right. So close. Uh, how do we concede? Uh, this just, just clicks on the board. Okay. Concede. All right. It was close. It was close. It was close. Yeah. Well, I don't think we have any options here. Oh, we the wall of mist wall. is probably good. We even played sixteen lands. <laughs> yeah, but we have lots of like do nothing cards. Do we want to play fifteen lands? Uh. This card would have been sweet. We do have three ones. Yeah, let's go. Fifteen lands. The old 15 land wall of mist deck, just the classic. And we did draw eight lands. Right. Close, but not really. Close as in we didn't die. <laughs> like we weren't yeah. turning the corner we anytime soon. We played to our outs. We needed to draw divination into that 5-5 five five, and it was there. Like, <laughs> you just have to think like what, what combination of cards will get you back into the game? And yeah. it was divination, so I can catch back up on Ooh, cards. Look at that. And then a big creature, which is the five, five. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Do we go first? Yeah. Oh, nice. Wait, I didn't. Does, I don't think it asks you though, right? Did, did it ask us? No, you just have to go first. Okay, okay. You yeah. have no choice. All right. All right. I'm gonna omen speaker here. Yeah, yeah. Try to get that uh, artifact. Yeah, try and get the turn, turn three. three artifact into turn four scholar of. Nice. That's. Oh, I want both of those. I do want both of, in, right? in this order. I want to yep. draw this one first. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Look at this, stacking the deck. Look, rest in pieces. That's not what we're saying. We're, we're saying more. The, the the argument for playing less lands is more like this is likely a sixteen land deck, um, because we're monocolored, so you don't need the sources from both sides. At the same time, we're also playing a deck with a fairly low curve with three ones, so yeah. it might actually just be correct. Yeah, we have to three one drops, a lot of two drops, and not a lot of mana sinks. We just don't need more than five lands in play. Yeah, we have nothing <laughs> you, to do with excess lands. <laughs> That's a good point. Just Rachel says you should just cut Omen Speaker. Your top two cards are perfect every time, anyways. Now that is a good point. <laughs> um, I think I'm attacking with these two. Uh, I would attack with these two. Would you play the uncomfortable chill if he blocks? I don't think I would. No. Okay, attack. That guy and that guy. Yep. Yeah, that, that attack sounds good. Yep. Those attackers. Damage. And then him. Boom. Four mana, three, two draw card. It's a pretty solid creature. <laughs> One mana, two, two? Pretty solid creature. Yeah. It's like, uh, not Kurt Ape, uh, Jackalpup. Yeah. One of the originals. Isamaru, Hound of Condor. Isamaru is, is a better <laughs> comparison. Non-legendary, too. Just just all upside. This guy is actually like Kurt Ape. Oh, you know what? It's a better version of uh, Court Homunculus. Right? Because um, Court Homunculus yeah. is a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not an artifact itself. Right, that's true. Okay. All right. Our opponent is not playing lands, and he probably is going to block this, and we can. Our opponent's not playing lands. Play uh, let's let's just get aggro. Oh oh oh! I was wondering if you wanted to axe, but. Oh no! I think I just want to leave this up. Okay, sure. Uh, 
So I want so to attack with this. I just still this. leave Omen Speaker back. Yeah, you can still, attack with still, the Pioneer too. Still leave Omen Speaker back, yeah. yeah. This is also fine. I mean, it's it telegraphs something. Like we can play. Oh, our opponent's gonna do that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I I do want to play yeah, this. Sure. And we just. In the pass. Like we just I, give him the opportunity to trade next turn, I guess. Right. And I think we want to. Do you want to leave up? I think we want to. I'm not scatter? playing axe yeah. here. I'm leaving up axe scatter. There's yeah. no reason to play axe right. if we're not using. We're it. just so far ahead. Like our opponent basically just has to play a creature right now, so we get to do that. Then next turn we can go prodigy axe. Our it's a worse opponent, version of Inventor's Apprentice. Touche. Did nothing. Touche. Okay, so if we go Axe equip this, he is incentivized to block. Yeah. I would not attack with this this turn. Right. It might be best to just equip the uh, the Omen Speaker, right? I can see that. Just suit up Omen Speaker and just attack with that. We can maybe also attack with this. Yeah, if you want to trade that with the Drill Master. Yeah, I think that's okay, considering how far ahead we are, and sure. and we have an axe that's just going to be a threat for the rest of the game. It's going to just yeah. make all of our I mean, yeah, having our opponent so have good. less things on the board is totally fine, because red-white wants to, you know, go wide and use pump spells when they attack, so... Maybe... Maybe I only attack with this, actually. Because, like, we're not yeah. adding another threat to the board this turn. If we were, I would like to... We are adding... We're playing this, right? No, I think we're leaving Essence Scout. No, we, ha we haven't played a land yet. No, we did. We did. Oh, we did? Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, we okay. Did. This is turn six. Okay, yeah. Yep, just this guy. We'll just leave up Essence Scatter. The next turn, I'll attack with that thing and play this. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Happy with that. Understood. Nothing. Ooh. Oh, do we make a 5-5? Five five? I think we make a 5-5. Five five. Yeah. All right, let's make a 5-5. Five five. What are we targeting? The, the flyer, right? I was going to target yeah, the yeah. flyer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't shock it! Don't, he didn't, our opponent did not shock it. Okay. okay. So now we can ax something we up. We are axing something. We'll ax this guy. Yeah. And then just attack with everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Look at that. Attack. Look at that. Three attackers. Boom. I mean, he could lightning strike, but then he still has this guy. Yeah, I mean, our opponent already used the lightning strike, so it's less likely. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Look at that. Just, we're doing it. They're going to play like a bogart brute here or something. Silly. Yeah, and do we care? Oh, it's I mean, this... might as well. Our opponent's at eight, Our right? opponent already knows we have essence scatter, so... So, yeah, I think we just scatter. Yeah, I think we just essence scatter. Like... So now our opponent has to ch uh, chump block our 5-5 five five when we attack with everything. Yep. And then we can play a 2-2. Two two. And this also gives us the out of drawing a bounce spell for the win. <laughs> nope, just an ox. The ox wand. Cover uh, so all we'll the angle. So we'll just swing with everything here. Yeah. All attack. All these guys attack. You can upgrade your Gearsmith Prodigy into a 2-4. I'm not going to show the wand. Come on! People, we got to see the wand! We have game three to play. Ah, fine. I just want to upgrade my Gearsmith Prodigy. <laughs> you want to turn this guy into an It's ox? got three charges! We're so ahead! Can't lose! So is he going to fog us, maybe? I doubt the red-white deck has... Uh... He could kill this. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Style points. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that, Velashu. Or is it Valishu? If we show the wand, we win on the spot. Yeah. Like, even if we lose, we win. Just by casting the wand. Alright. Uh, oh, could we kill the flyer and get in for... Did, did, were, were we able to win on the spot if we played the... No, I'm saying just more like sending a message. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the wand is great because it turns our Gearsmith Prodigies into two fours. It's basically like an Anthem for, for that card. Alright, uh... Do, we have no other cards, right? I mean, we're literally playing everything yeah, that like, we drafted. Yeah, like, 15 lands is worrisome, but, like, look, look at the upsides. All of our lands come into play untapped. We have three one-drops. Are we ever going to have too many cards in hand? We could consider the Reliquary Tower. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> we're on the draw. What if we go turn three Divination? Oh, my God. Yeah, that, yep. <laughs> you, you've had that happen, right? Where, like, you don't have yeah, a play, you're on the draw, and you you're just, like, Divination. Yeah, sometimes uh, you just can't play Divination. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. We have so many twos. Wow. What was your Pro Tour top eight, Melissa? Gatecrash? 
Yes, it was Gate Crash. Nice. That was February 2013, which was such wow. a long time ago. That, that was a long time ago. I played Bant Control, splashing red for Kessig Wolfrun. Uh, the classic Bant Splash Red for an aggressive card. <laughs> 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 I was playing Bant Control, well, splashing I, a card I that get pumps my attackers. My creatures, so I needed to play a land that made all my creatures get through. That's Look fair. at this perfect curve. Yep, yep. Keep. When you get a bunch of last picks and combine them, you get some mediocre synergies. <laughs> all right, little key. All right, we, we need here some we lands go. here. If only we had 16 I'm lands. I'm feeling great about things right now. Like we <laughs> this have so many good. turns to draw land. Oh, look at this. This is oh, yep. Make a make a guy. You think he'll double Field block? Creeper? Uh, if I play this, I don't know. But I think we should attack. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All attack. One attacker. Well, the thing, Saiminami, is we're playing 15 lands because we clearly cannot cut any of these field creepers. They're too important in our deck. They're very important. We so, have three of the gear <laughs> <of> prodigy. <laughs> if we draw a land and we have uncomfortable chill up, we might get in for four damage. We did play one mana 2-2. Two, two. We we're kind of... Oh, yes, we drew a land. What could he do? He could lightning strike. I Oh, the, the field creeper? I'm not going to attack with the field creeper. Oh, I'm just going to attack with this. Yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. yeah. Blocks, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, do we want to play another oh, artifact? Oh, I, I see, I see. Then we can't keep uncomfortable chill up? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I care too much um, about using the chill now. I, I'd rather just make sure I have an artifact on the board. The question is... Well, I mean, I guess if our opponent uses Lightning Strike on Field Creeper, then we use Uncomfortable Chill on the Gearsmith Prodigy. Like, to just um, eat a goblin, but... Yeah, all right, so we have two options. One is just attack, and if he kills the Field Creeper, we Uncomfortable Chill. I mean, I think I just want... Draw I, a card. I think we're just playing Field Creeper here. Yeah, is was, my and guess. then yeah, the other thing is you play the Field Creeper, and then you don't care what happens with this guy. Right, 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 right. You and, just attack and if you him. draw a land, you have a really great turn four. Right, right. So yeah, oh, we're, I didn't realize we were just... And also just having Field Creeper on the board next turn, if our opponent does choose to block with the 1-1s, one -one, so we do have the chill for next turn. Our opponent's like, what is with all this Field Creepers? This deck is so bad. All right, just attack with that. Don't worry. Our opponent has Trumpet Blast, but we have the easy counter. We have Uncomfortable Chill. It is Counterspell Draw Card yes. against Trumpet Blast, to be so fair. So our opponent is going to double block. That's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Probably maybe just has a combat trick or goblin. something. Look at this goblin. Look at this guy. Yeah, this oh, is fine. Oh, sure. Trade combat We, tra we traded for... a Mighty Leap for yeah, our Yeah, but now, drop. now there's this. But we, we have the Uncomfortable we Chill. We have the Chill. No blocks. Oh, it's the cavalry? No. Oh, oh. That's a good one. Ooh. Against our stuff. It's okay. Land! Well, that's fine, because we have a defensive, uncomfortable chill. Yeah. Oh, the old side go. I like it. <sighs> we didn't even play a land. Yeah, but then our opponent's going to counter the uncomfortable chill with trumpet blast. Maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. We're yep. still good. We're good. Oh, we're good. So we're now, good. Uh, I mean, wait, wait. Hold up. Should we, we have want, actually just did, did we want scatter? to essence scatter it? We might have wanted to essence scatter it. It's fine. Yeah. Oh I, my I god. Was, I was so focused <laughs> on this uncomfortable chill. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. We we still get our value this turn, I guess. And so, we get the cycle. So do we want to? Uh, We're blocking the goblins. Block or we yeah. can double block this too. I think we want to block the goblins because they have lots of pumpy everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's okay. It's I, okay. I it we here. have the wand yeah. for the angel. Yeah. And I, we want to hit our land drops. Well, I have to click through so many attacks. Um, yeah, like, I think it was actually correct to counter that. Right. <laughs> but I was... My mind was on this uncomfortable chill. All right, so let's block. All right, let's... So I have to click block, and then it has me choose blockers. Yeah. But this is just like, come on. Look at that. Look, no damage. Thanks. And, yep, and... And then we play the... Yeah, so I think we just Scholar? play yeah. this. I don't yeah. think we give him an ox yet. Right, not yet. So we just do this, get a card. Next turn, maybe make a 5-5. Five five. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. obviously not attacking. We're at 18. We're like still looking pretty good here. 
Well, you, we could essence scatter the best common in the set, or we can essence scatter the rare that our opponent plays later. True. Well, I don't even know if we're ever gonna have the mana. Ooh, I, oh, that's the first trigger. Yeah, I'm not blocking. Yeah. So if we draw a land, Oof. we do not draw a land. That's fine. We can just play this and this. Uh, sure. Yeah. That seems yeah, okay. Yeah, that seems good. Angel of Dodden is a common. Yeah, I mean, it's basically uh, a reprint of... Oh, uh, do I want to attack with either of these field creepers? Yeah. Like, both uh, of, like I don't care if he blocks... I, I mean, do we just attack with all, everything? Then he just blocks this? Maybe. Uh, I mean, what are our... Like, we can still block our opponent's other creatures, right? Well, this is... This uh, can block I, I, it's this. not a good block with the... Tr yeah, that's fine. Just those two, I guess. I mean, I don't mind actually just attacking with everything just to, like, try to race... Yeah. If we draw a land for the... We can totally loss this guy and then Essence Scatter on the way back, which yeah. is good. Yeah, he only has one attack here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to block yet. Oof. That is a card. 1-3. That's, that's the biggest... Uh... Uh, okay. Okay. We could... Disperse, Essence Scatter. That is an option. We're at nine. Do we have any good attacks? Not really. Our creatures are all just worse than a 2-4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if we give our opponent a 2-4, we're still just in trouble. Yeah, we might want to give ourselves a 2-4 at some point. Yeah, but we're currently just losing to the Flyers. So we might, we might actually need to disperse yeah i think we might need to disperse yeah um so our the question is are we dispersing pegasus courser or the angel of the dawn i think it's the angel of the okay. dawn and then that just makes our opponent back. use use their mana okay and so we don't have a good attack here we right? don't have a good attack but we will we can't attack a with the attack. scholar just just to get put less creatures on the board for our opponent all right that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. He has a worse target for his Pegasus portion, right, right. I guess. So we'd take less damage. So, yeah. Planning this out over the course of the next few turns. We're going to take three this turn from Cavalry Drill Master plus the Pegasus Courser. We bounce the Angel of the Dawn. I would consider blocking... The cavalry oh sure, sure. He's not. No, they're they're going to attack with the yeah, chaplain, yeah, yeah. probably. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can use the wand on the angel, and then chump with like something. Yep. Drillmaster's not attacking. Right. Drillmaster is not attacking. So yeah, let's bounce the angel. Yep, let's, so I just put it here. Then yep. I have to choose yep. this angel. And then we just take two. I don't think we're randomly chump blocking one of those. Yeah, we are not. Yeah, we're just taking two. He's going to gain one. Yep. Oh, well. The most obvious now, does, essence does he scatter ever. The thing, or does he wait? Well, I, I mean, I having a val flyer it. on the board is valuable. Yeah. All right. So we should have done this the first time, <coughs> but it's okay. All right. And then now we use the wand on the courser. And we have to attack with a lot of things. Yeah. So just keep in mind they're gonna have a two four, a two one, and a one three life linker. Um, I like having the three two back to block the chaplain. Um, I yeah. mean, certainly field creepers can attack. These guys are definitely attacking. The flyer, the thopter can attack. Yeah. Uh, Is that this it? This can stay back for this. This can stay back for the 1-3. I the think this can attack? attack. Okay, yeah, that's good. We're at 7. This is pretty aggressive, but... Uh, maybe our opponent blocks. They're a little scared. Okay, cool. That's really good for us. Yeah. So now we, so now we play this wand, wand, wand up thing. the courser. And now we kill Yeah. Uh yeah, that thing. This. So you have to just click on the wand. Oh I have to click on this. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And now he gets an ox. <laughs> we can double block the ox. I like the angle. It's like, yep, the ox has a big booty. It's got four toughness. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so now we just we just really need a land. If we hit land number five, I think we're looking really good here. We yeah. have the wand for any of the flyers, and then like the Gearsmith Guardian is just gonna be bigger than all these oxes. 
Can you only use wand as a sorcery? I believe so. Yes, you can only yeah. use wand as a sorcery. It's like a very complex card. If it was instant speed, it would just make combat and everything just impossible. Yes! Our opponent wow, did our nothing. our opponent did nothing. All right, let's go to the sky. Uh, I mean, I, I guess we're not ox... We're not... We're not wanding any of our things, right? We could consider wanding our thing, but since he didn't attack, I don't think we wand our thing. I think we just play this. I mean, we could wand our pioneer, I guess. Uh, but then what's our attack? I mean, we're, I'm thinking we're just. I think we're just attacking with Thopter. Do you want to just axe up the Thopter? I think maybe that's better. All right. So our options are axe the Thopter and attack for three. He probably has a shock or something. Um, we could axe this and get in for an attack with this guy and this guy. Um, but I like that less, I think. Yeah, I think I just want yeah, to, yeah, I just, just, like, just suit up the, yeah, just suit up the flyer. So I click on this, click on yeah. this, and then it'll auto-tap for me. He'll probably shock it. Yeah, if our opponent has lightning strike, so be it. Alright, let's attack with this guy. Boom! Does he have, he must have trumpet blast. In his hand because it's possible. he's not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a card that could very easily be in our opponent's hand. Where's my land? I guess we can't complain too much. We've drawn four lands and all We spells. can't complain. We, we're, we, oh, we, that's we okay. We chose to play 15 lands. <laughs> we cannot complain. <laughs> Boom! We did it. Oh, yeah, I'm just slamming that land down. All right, let's, um, let's, I just want to play a 5-5, five five, personally. Yeah, that's what yeah, I want to do, too. Right. I, I think a 5-5 five five against the red-white deck is just yeah. really good. Blue doesn't get 5 mana 5-5s. Five this is nice. Right. Generally. Uh, no attack. Yeah. Imagine if I clicked all attack. Oh, um, my. That would not have been so good. so much trouble. The ox would have killed the scholar, and the chaplain would have killed the field creeper. And we would have dealt two damage. This is a draft deck, yeah. Great draft deck too. I don't know who drafted it, but yeah, we uh, have a lot of options here. We can suit up the five five I'll, and just make a lethal attack and force him to chump, and and then play divination post combat or something. I like attack with Gearsmith Guardian, and playing another one. That's a safe play. I feel like it's very difficult to lose if we do that. I agree. And like, uh, yeah, attack with the mana first, obviously, because if our opponent has a sure strike, we can use the totally lost. Yep. Yeah, that could be another thing you had. I forgot yeah. sure strike was in the uh, environment. Alternatively, we can just pass with totally lost up. Did our opponent play Mighty Leap? This he did. He he played a defensive Mighty Leap one yep. turn. Uh, what did he do? Oh, he's. Uh, so oh, let's get the ox. A double block, huh? Yeah. So, so our opponent probably has a combat he, trick. He probably has Inspired Charge. So yeah, the ox sounds good. Yeah. Um, so, question: Do we cast the totally lost if he? No. We just if our opponent use, oh, if our opponent uses a spell. If our opponent has mighty leap. If our opponent has mighty leap, you can use totally lost on the ox, and yeah. that just removes it. That's fine. Yeah. And if our opponent has a lightning strike, that's fine. I think our opponent has mighty leap. Like if this, if it was inspired it, charge, it's way worse. Uh, do we do it? Yeah. Well, it could damage. Oh, he probably opponent, has shock. Our, our opponent's gonna cast the thing. Make oh, a, make a stand. Oh. All right. I think we want to play the totally lost on the ox here. Okay. We could have also forced him to redraw the Daybreak Chaplain, which might have just been better. Boom! Indestructible. All okay. right. Uh, yeah, now we're just done. Yeah, like, we could have had him... We could have done the, the Chaplain, too. And done the Chaplain, then he just gets a dead draw. Right. That might have been better. That might have been better, actually. Yeah, you're right. There's just a lot of things Our opponent's to a good game. actually, in, in a game yeah. of Magic, and when, <laughs> when you're, like, discussing every play... All right, if we attack with everything, three, four, it's it's eight damage. Uh, so, can we suit up something? Yeah, I think we can suit up the one, two, and attack with everything, and our opponent just needs to have many answers to get out of it. Okay. Question. Do we right. want to ox the chaplain so if our opponent has a combat trick, they don't gain a bunch of life? Um, it's possible, but but other question, does it matter? Like, Well, our opponent will survive. Yeah, but he'll be in such a... Bad position. Yeah, I mean, we just have two two charges on the wand. I'm just wondering if, if there's like, do we, do we lose much no, I, by I, doing I think it? I, we just attack. Okay, fine. Just attack with everything. Oh, 
Yeah. So we did have the trumpet blast. Yeah. How do we say GG? You click here. Oh, I click, click on my life total. Good game. <laughs> Ooh, look at we that. We're it. we're gold tier. We're gold tier. Join another draft. We still we still gotta win this one. We yeah. still gotta win. We don't can't guys, just spew. Do you guys want to see us win with this mono blue artifact? Ooh, let's deck fix with let's lands? fix our deck. Oh, we can fix our deck. Well, I mean, we want to play fifteen lands, right? I think. Do we? I don't know. Do we want to play the wall main deck? Oh, is that what we did? Yeah, we added the wall and cut a land. I like sixteen okay, land fine, to start. Okay, fine. Okay, so play. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we really have to try so hard for our wins. Uh, I don't know. I think our deck is sweet. It is definitely sweet. I will give you that. Crack the pack, though. Okay, I mean, if, if all of you want to see us crack packs, we do have, I think we have like 15 packs. So we can we can open those if you really want to see us open packs. But yeah, this is an account with, uh, it's got the, all the cards on it. So it wouldn't actually do much for us specifically. Wow, our opponent's a diamond level mage. Did you see that? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, and, no, no, maybe that's silver. Jace. All right, so we have the field creeper. We have divination. Divination, divination and solid stars. Like we have a really nice curve here, so we can keep. This. You know what that divination means? More field creepers. So, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Definitely keep that. Look at this Jace. Can we be Jace? I don't want to mute him though. He's We're Teferi a nice though. Guy. Are we first? How the, do we? It's the better standard card. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these things we can say. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our opponent is green, and we're playing a field creeper. Uh, it's not looking good. Oh, you can mute your opponent. I don't know why that. would I want to do that? I don't know, but why is it now just like constantly there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to. I'm just gonna run this out there yeah. and and attack. Oh look, see another field creeper. We did it. <clears throat> that's just gonna set us up. That's that's you know what that's gonna be. That's a five five. It might be a five five. That's a five yeah. five. Five five pumpkin head. Look at this pumpkin head. <laughs> That looks pretty appropriate for a 2-1, to be fair. All right, what is that? Oh, okay. It's fine. He just wants to make the mana. So let's play the Scholar first. Yeah, I'm going to play the Scholar yeah. first. Then beat down. Just in case our opponent wants to block. 2 mana 5-5. Five, five. Is that a good limited card? Ooh, okay. okay. This card just means all of our bad creatures are now <laughs> good creatures. Are, are now less bad creatures. Our opponent's probably gonna. It depends if he wants. To oh, play, you know, be sweet. Like, yeah, if like our opponent a colossal ramp, Dreadmaw on turn four, and then we just we just got the disperse. It. Potentially, no. Is there like a, a big, a big spell that makes a token? That would be ideal. Like hmm. sack catalyst elemental. Format. Okay, well, our opponent just traded, so. Traded our uh, our Alpha Mir for his Gray Ogre. Classic Alpha. I'll attack into that. Yeah. Ooh, we did it! All right. We didn't uh, do anything yet. Okay, we're, we didn't we're do anything. We're gonna yet. do it. All right. So let's just beat down and then play the two artifacts, I guess. Yep. Yeah. All attack, attack with all of my creatures. Wait, can we unclick this? All. Is yeah. our opponent muted? Oh, how do I wait? How do, <laughs> how do I unmute? Him? Oh no no, I think you muted. Un oh, unmute. Okay, we did it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, opponent. Yeah. Opponent, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I don't think our opponent, well, maybe our opponent's watching. Our opponent could be watching. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We can't stop him. And then yeah. just play both of these. Ooh, and we have to disperse to save our skilled animator. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited to beat down with a 5 5 here. Let's go, Field Creeper! We are suiting up the. We are animating the Field Creeper, right? Because um, I think the yeah, axe is just it, like a good equipment. It depends equipment. what he does. Like, like now. Now maybe now we wait. I, I maybe don't we animate anything. Right, right, right. I think we just attack with both the creatures and hope our opponent trades, then play it post combat. Uh, yeah. So yeah. now I'm just gonna swing with both. Right. See what he does. Play Omen Speaker. Suit up Omen Speaker. Probably. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh. First. Yeah, like you like keeping this as a haste option, right? Yes. Well, if you do that, do you want to just suit up the field creeper to get in for more damage? Uh, because our opponent is l not as likely to block our field creeper, given that it's a yeah, field creeper. I, I do want to do that, yeah. considering I'm not blocking yeah. his stuff anyway, right. probably. Yeah. So this here, 
Although, given this... Yeah, yeah. I think our opponent still would prefer to trade with Scholar of Stars, so... Our opponent doesn't know about Skilled Animator. Attack with all the stuff. This guy is a beating. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the Four no two removal is no deck. joke. Okay. Oh, they blocked the field creeper. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Omen speaker. It's gonna be just the perfix. Oh, we got the disperse here. Is this what? What is this? Is this a combat trick? Oh yeah, looks like it. Oh, Maybe. is it the unnatural endurance or abnormal mm. endurance? Do we, do we bounce it? That seems like because daggerback is so annoying. Yeah. Ugh. But. I don't care about this dying though. Okay, that's fine. Just just let this happen. Because we just we still don't have to use a skilled animator yet, you know? Like we just play the omen speaker and then and then equip. I don't even care about leaving up disperse, honestly. Yeah. I'd rather just use my mana. Res uh, oh, resolve. we have to resolve this yeah. effect, okay. We mono blue, we sure are. End oh, of we still have to end combat. Yeah. Now we can play this guy. All, All right. the lands to the bottom. Let's not keep this land. I'm right. fine with keeping yeah, this. That's fine. Yeah, it's, we it's, could, we it's, can we make have the our. Uh, um, we also have our Animated. flyer can be a five five. Yeah. And then. This here. Yeah. Oh, click it again. Click, click, click. click. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I was panicking because of the. That is very scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, this two-headed zombie though. Oh, and yeah, you know what the best thing no about joke. being monocolored? Uh, you don't have to worry about the auto-tap messing with you. That's true. Because yep. you always tap for the, the right amount. Some wolves. Now our attacks are bad. They sure are. Hmm. So, Pioneer? Definitely Pioneer. We could disperse the wolves and attack for six, and he's going to block one, and then next turn we can animate our Thopter. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a reasonable tempo play. Yeah, especially because we know that his next turn is probably just going to be replay the wolves that we don't really care yeah, about. I can see that. All right, so, yeah, I, I'm going to do it. So disperse this, because then, like, we have yeah. no good attack. Swing like, with the team. This seems good. Combat, all attack, two attackers. Are we dead on board? No. We're at 12. We are not dead on board. It's a close race, though. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep, so now so he's no at play nine. The pioneer. Yep. Do you think he has mine rot? Do I care about playing my lands? Is there like a single discard effect? That's my question. Uh, I'm gonna suit, I don't think so. I'm gonna suit up the bird, this guy. So now that's an attack for eight. And it mm. might be lethal if It'll he attack has for one, seven. five. You're Four, right, yeah. seven, seven, okay. There's the symbiont, but our opponent's very unlikely to have symbiont. What's a symbiont? The psych sidekick symbiont, the the blue black uncommon. Oh sure, yeah. yeah. But and bolus, but our what opponent, a race. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we we don't have enough to play both. Yeah, the do we five just play five. the 5-5? Five 5-5 five? Five five is really tempting. And we're because it just blocks three. everything. So we get in for 3, and then we, can try and and then we still have turn. lethal next turn, right? Yeah. And this is just like an awesome blocker. Yeah, I think that's yeah. better. Go for it. Well, I would go for it if it was lethal, but it's just not lethal. Yeah, it's off by 1. Yeah. We would get in for, again, uh, five, 7 in the air, and then if we attack with the two ground creatures, that would be uh, 9, but our opponent can block one of the ground creatures, so our opponent will go down to 1. So we're one damage short. Do we want to move the... Oh, we axe? could have moved it over, but... Um, if you move it over, and you draw something next turn that you want to play, like you might not sure. have enough mana to... Like I mean, the Guardian over, is... The, skilled the, animator. the Guardian is brickwalling everything, and we can use Omen Speaker and Aviation Pioneer to double block the two-headed yeah. zombie. Yeah, we, so we our blockers are... Moved it over, but the, the sizing of all of our creatures are actually perfect right now. Just given current board state and like not knowing what our opponent can have, I actually just like blocking everything. Yeah, and I, if, I it, like, it, it like forces our opponent to just cast their combat right. trick. Yeah, these things on this. And it's like so unlikely that they're splashing, that they're splashing like trumpet blast. I don't know what this could be. Yeah, but it doesn't like in my mind it doesn't matter what it is because right. if he like uses his whole hand and all his combat tricks, 
on all this stuff, we win in the air with this right. that he doesn't know about. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of hoping our opponent just has, like, two tricks. You know? Yeah, that, that would be the ideal. Yeah. Okay, yep. Sure. Makes sense. I see what you did there. What did I... Did you I... said sure. All right, never uh, mind. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, what, what else do you got? Just tap out for a big ground creature. Yeah, just play like a... Yes! There's that... that uh, and skilled the animator there. getting it done. Just make sure we animate the thopter and not the yeah, axe. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's target this Thopter. Yep, that right, one. it's highlighted. Did we do that? Boom! We did Seven it. ball so in the air. It's so big. All right, attack with that one. All yep. right, that one. Kaboom! Boom, whoa. God, we play we this so well. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so what was our opponent playing? Black, green? So this blocks pretty well. It doesn't block the dagger bass, the dagger back. It doesn't block the vine mare, and it doesn't block the big green things. But like, all right, it doesn't block very well at all. <laughs> <laughs> I am I think, fine submitting like this. Yeah, yeah. Look at our Look game. R and D plays MTG. Now That's they right. know. <laughs> they do know. Yeah. The uh, yeah, our skilled animator was just a lava axe, basically. Well, yeah, it can block that, but it doesn't lift to tell the tail afterwards. Is this competitive draft? Why can't you sign up for one? DH Worlds, I thought I had the same issue. You need to hit the bottom right-hand corner and click play. Then after you hit play, there's a list of options of the different things that you can play on Arena, and one of those is competitive draft. Oh, look at this curve. I also didn't know this. <laughs> Actually, I need a trick to actually help me with that. I was like at home the other day. I was like, help! How do I draft? Look at this beautiful curve. Look at this. Just turn to a 2 2? Wow. It's a curve 8. Yeah. Next turn, it's going to be turn an Onaki Ogre. Well, turn 3, it'll be a big dude. Yeah. Wow, look at that Jun mana. Sprouting Thranax. Manolith. All right. Oh, he's going to have something big next look turn. Look at this. Though. Boom. I like how even though there's only one attacker, you still hit the all attackers button. <laughs> I don't want to mess up, okay? I just don't want to mess up. Uh, we might this is actually nice. Sweet. No, yeah, I mean, like, well, yeah, our Prodigy gets in or pro might just trade up for, like, a bigger creature. Play Scholar of Stars, Gearsmith Guardian. Yeah, if we, like, so if we trade, for example, like, we are so happy. Yeah. Uh, because we're trading our one mana card that got in for what? It's got six damage. Six damage for yeah. a four mana card. Right. Everything's attacking. All right. Everything. <laughs> Send everything <laughs> in. It's just just one. Sure. All right. All right, and then we play this and draw. Mm -hmm. And next turn we just have a five. Just perfect synergy. Five. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. Now we have options. Wow. Gearsmith Guardian into oh. What if our opponent plays a Colossal Dreadmaw? That would be sad. But I think we can just muster up enough of we an offense. We might be able to... Whoa! Wait, oh, we gotta read this one. Okay, well, this wait, is the hexproof? Wait, wait, first let's watch the animation. <laughs> okay, okay, now we can read it. Okay. For each player, choose target permanent that player controls. Those players sacrifices those permanents. Each player who sacrifices a permanent this way reveals the top card of their library, then puts it onto the battlefield if it's a permanent so card. So we lose our guy, and then we replace it with our top card. Oh, it's like a Chaos Warp? Yeah, the chaos warps. For each player, choose target permanent. So that he chooses my our guy. They can choose their thing too. Oh. They can right. target their manolith. Oh and, wow. And change it for something. They can target their land. That card is uh, pretty strong. All right. All right. We might be dead. We might be, but I think we just play a gearsmith guardian and pass and just hope for the best. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, we can just hit like another gearsmith guardian. That would be sweet. Yeah, we could hit something. Yeah. And we still have sleep, like, you know. Yeah, sleep is a game winner. No! Oh, no. We needed not that to happen. Yes, agreed. <laughs> Do we have, like, a plummet or something in our sideboard? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, now what? 
So oh, our opponent's going to target Manila. Oh, it's an attack trigger. Oh, right. Okay. Did we get something cool? Our opponent got they a gift of paradise. Okay, so it wasn't a huge. They got, they got a gift of paradise. paradise. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, they can hit non land or land? Can they hit yeah, land? Yeah, they hit land. Yeah, yeah. You can oh, hit land. I didn't know that. Okay. Plummet is green, but we're mono. We can certainly bring in four forests and a plummet if we really want needed. I think we need to sleep this turn. Jeez, we're at 14. I'm just. Hold on. Because, like. Because they're going to just kill another one of our things. We can sleep, attack for four. Yeah, it's just like, is that... I'm trying to f figure out, like, what the winning line is here. So, like, let's say we waited a turn and we go skilled animator on the axe and field creeper and then play sleep that turn. Isn't that a better way for us to potentially win? It might be. They, they'll they target the skilled animator right. with their thing. So I think we just equip the field creeper and just take ten and... Hope to draw out of it. Wait, so you're saying play skilled animator, make a 5-5. Five, five, right. Attack for 5, because I think we have to attack to win this game. No, um, Oh, you mean this turn? Yes. I mean... How do we get more time? We, we I was more, make, I was we more have to make a decision. I was more thinking not doing anything, but you can just... Well, this is I a just don't, trigger. He's just going to kill our skilled animator immediately. Right, I was so. just thinking doing, like, potentially nothing. Well, we have to do something okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, we're going to make this thing. Okay. All right, and then we just attack with it, I guess. I think we have to attack, okay, yeah. yeah. So, combat, attack. Because when he attacks, he's going to target our skilled animator. We're going to get a random permanent. Oh, you know it would be awesome if we just hit another skilled animator off of it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. uh, so I guess we're done, yeah, because we yeah. can't equip his, a creature now. Man. So that's, yeah, the Victus is pretty strong. Alright, let's see what what happens here. So our opponent's gonna target one of their own things, their land. Oh. No. <laughs> We're so dead. Alright, take ten. Yeah, Alright, so another fine. skilled animator would we're actually be fine. really good, right? We're fine. Like we skilled have sleep. Like skilled animator into sleep would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Right? We have two in our deck. I'm just trying to Figure out the perfect cards that need to line up here for us to win. That, and he gets to draw a card. That's fine. Skilled animator off the top. Let's go. No, we already know that's es essence scatter. Oh, it doesn't. It's yeah, just on top. It just we just have to. We're forced to draw essence scatter. Never mind. I'm sad. Okay. So now the question is, do we show sleep? I think no. I think we just concede. Well, too late. We conceded. <laughs> no, I haven't yet. You have to click concede. All right. Can do you, we, do you not we want think to think about this? Like. He goes to eight, then if he draws nothing, he goes to four. But what if we draw the skilled animator next turn? Yeah, but then they take two less because of the, yeah. the axe. Unless we can rebuy the sleep. But we I don't can't rebuy the sleep. Yeah. All, right, all right, we're dead. Yeah. We won't show sleep. All right, concede. Okay, so we need to win before. Maybe the wall is okay. We saw a Rocks Oracle and a Thornhide Wolves. But we're on the play. Maybe it's just better to curve out and make sure we hit our land drops. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. just keep the 16 land. All right. All right, we learned a valuable lesson. Dragons are strong limited. Mm, yes, yes, dragons are good. Especially three color mythic dragons. Mm, yeah. We did make sure that they were sweet. They're sweet. Yeah, yeah, they're all very, very sweet. Like that's a sweet multiplayer card. Yeah, uh, and 1v1, apparently. All right, so yeah. we have a two, a three, we have a curve, but we need to draw land. If we draw three lands in a row, this okay. hand might win. <laughs> like, I don't even know for a lock to win, but... Yeah, our draw was solid, but our opponent played the dragon. If our opponent just played, like, any dinky... Not dinky, but just any random six drop, like, we probably would have been okay. Like, if our opponent was just, like, Colossal Dreadmaw, but certainly that thing was ridiculous. Pumpkin Man. Pumpkin Man! Ooh. That would be pretty decent in our deck. We All right, we drew, we drew two lands in a row. I'm so and I'm feeling really good about drawing land number five, given that we oh, have yeah. a scholar. Oh yeah, we have a scholar. Sorry, we're, we're basically we're, we're basically locked. Guaranteed. I mean, we have three draw steps for a land. Oh, and nothing. 
What could our opponent have? Is there, opponent, is there like a deal one damage to all your attacking stuff? Do we want to play Scholar of Stars first? There is not. Oh! Oh, what? our opponent can have 3-2 Flash Creature. I don't know if that changes the way you... What, is, what are our opponent's three, main two colors? 3 Flash Creature for 2B? Yeah. Um, our opponent does have black as a main color. I can leave this back. If we think our opponent has that. Uh, sure. I mean, that seems like the most likely thing. It could also be a removal spell. Just like, why would our opponent keep no plays for these these turns? Also, our yeah. opponent did have a high curve. Yeah. So it's possible that our opponent just has nothing. It, it is very possible. But our opponent did not have that thing. Hopefully the one damage doesn't cost us. Ooh. It won't cost oh, us. This, we have sleep. This hand is great. Our this deck, is the perfect draw. Our deck is highly synergistic. Oh yeah, all of the synergies. And highly blue. Highly blue also. So... I want to play this, but playing this was very tempting when he had this here, because we could just animate our 2-1 attack with Scholar, 5-5, five, 1-1. Five, one, one. I think I would just attack with everything. You would attack with everything. I would play skilled animator on field creeper mm -hmm. and attack with everything. And, and if our opponent five, he would take nine here and right. we were, we're just throwing this away. Right. And our opponent goes to six. And then we have And we have a sleep. Yeah, and we have a sleep. Like losing Pioneer here doesn't seem that big of a deal. But what if we so, I, so if we don't attack with everything, we just attack with Scholar five five one one, he just blocks this. Right. Guarantees blocks. Right. We have to do so this timer! This timer keeps getting me. All right, I'm gonna play this thing. We'll target him. All right, yeah. I think just attack with everything. Yeah, I like, like attack with if everything. Our, if I, I don't think our, yeah. Yeah, like he's still probably blocking the, the scholar. Right. But if he blocks the pioneer, we're happy to get him that extra three. I guess it's only, this is bad if our, okay, so. Let's see, our, what's the worst thing that could, our opponent like kills our skilled animator? He could rabid bite our skilled animator, which is likely. Yeah, but then we have lethal, right? Two, we three, four, have... five, six. Uh, well, we this... have sleep. Yeah, yeah, we do have sleep for sure. Right, our opponent so... doesn't know that. Like, yeah, our so opponent's our probably opponent... gonna go rabid bite blocker. Right, and then we can just sleep can for lethal. Sleep, yeah. So that one point of damage, or that extra two points of damage. Or that one damage from earlier didn't matter. Sure, yeah. Look at this pig. Bristling boar. He's very angry. So there's bristling boar and there's bristle boar, that the one where you sacked and gained four life. That's brindle boar. Brindle boar. Yeah. Okay. There's also gristle back. And also gristle brand. There is a yes. <laughs> the king of all gristle. All right, so there's the rabbit bite that we totally expected. Wait, they did not kill a skilled animator? Oh, I'm so confused. He must have lightning strike. Right. Yeah. Okay. He, okay. Hold. Uh, we can we can just play this safe. Strike, right? I think we just attack with our flyer and play our two things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. He has to have something here they have because have, he would have rabid bite. There this. has to be a lightning strike here. Or naturalize, I guess, could be the other card. So just this guy. Yeah. Just that guy. And then we can play can we, land. Can we just... play land? Play this little kid. Play his. So this this monster, this contract oh, belongs oh, to the kid. It completes the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can put this art on top of this art, and it completes. It's it. like in um, uh, is it Battle Bond? Like the the partners. This is like the little thing and. That's like. Oh the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the big, kid. Yeah. The toothy, big friend. Yeah, the imaginary friend. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like that, but <laughs> <laughs> this one's not imaginary. This one's pretty real. Very real. All right. Time to go to sleep. Yeah, now Let's it's, go. it's just sleep now. Sleep and jam. Just sleep. Oh, I have to, I'll target this chase. <laughs> Let's not choose ourselves. <laughs> right? Yeah. So even if he does have lightning strike... This attack is still very lethal. Right. Boom! We got there. He exploded. Exploded. Poor See? Geez. The only thing that can slow this deck down is an Elder Mythic Dragon. That is all. 
Other than that, cannot be beat. Are we 2-0? Oh? I think we are. We are 2-0. Oh. We won we a go. deck box. Reward. Ooh, it's a, a blue-white deck. Unlock or, the sorry, hidden white, power blue of deck. artifacts using blue and white magic. Craft awesome combos to take down the opposition. Did we win this because we're playing artifacts? I don't understand. I think you just have several different rewards for accomplishing certain things, and then you get decks. I like. Look at this just, just island symbol. <laughs> nice. No, we're playing sixteen lands. Yeah, we, we only sideboarded sixteen lands. We sided out a land one game where we <laughs> wanted to board in a two drop. <laughs> yes, that is what happened. Our curve is very low. We have no mana sinks. We have several cantrips. Right. Like, we have three one drops, a lot of two drops. Um, we don't have anything after turn five. We have three We have three fives, a few fours. Yeah, but our yeah, curve is very low. Pretty much we just want to draw six lands and stop. Yeah. All right. I think it's We're Jaya playing against Jaya. Uh, it feels, it feels, it's fun interacting with chat. Our opponent's going first, so we can turn to Essence Scatter, probably. Yeah, this hand this, is not great, Yeah, it, but it's not great, but I'm still gonna keep it. Like, you don't mulligan this hand. All right. He needs a Divination. Or just Skilled Animator. Yeah, which we have two of. It's the... Kind of a... A different take on the Insul artifact that was around in one of the previous core sets. Yep. Yeah. Uh, was it Origins? I believe so. I believe yeah. so. And that that is actually a deck that we played at the Pro Tour. He's not waiting on us. No, it's yeah. no, he's just, up first. Just uh, like uh, just trying to get like Ornithopter turn one and then turn two Insul Ar artifact and get him for five. Yep. There's also Darksteel Citadel, which was legal, which was really really strong with Insul artifact. And but you know part of what made that card so strong, aside from the fact that it costs two mana, is that it's an enchantment, so it's very difficult to deal with in constructed. Whereas with the skilled animator, all you need to do is just have a lightning strike or some removal spell. And it's an entire turn later. Right, right, right. Oh, he mulliganed. I see. Ooh. All right. No, we are no longer essence scattering on turn two. Now we're just playing the scarecrow. Dangerous curves ahead. Ooh. I he wonder might, if our opponent's going to take this trade. He might trade. Oh, I'm okay with that. I would trade. I think I would trade if I was the opponent. Because yeah. he doesn't have a really good attack back, really. I mean, does I think he? if I was us, I would draw a skilled animator next. Mm. That'd be my recommendation. We don't block, though. Or do we? I think we want to keep our artifact, though. I see. Mm, definitely don't block now. Yeah. Disperse! There may be a sleep in our future. Disperse! Okay. Look, 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 look at how nicely this curves, though. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking five, but we have to right. sleep next turn. Yeah. Um, yep. Obviously, no, no attackers. Attacks. Wow. We have totally That's lost a big in our deck Oh my goodness. I see. All right. Okay. Yeah, Disperse, we'll just... please! Well, Ox won! We also have Ox Wand. We do have two turns to oh! deal with it. Wait, hold, hold. We have to sleep here, right? I th yeah, we have to sleep here. All right, fine. We have no attack. Okay, fine. So we'll sleep, target. Prevent some Gaia. damage, get in for six. Pretty good still. Attack with everything. Yeah. And then next turn we get to attack for nine, right? Our opponent will probably play something. Well, I mean, we get to. I'm saying we can attack for nine. Oh, I guess we might not be able to attack with the prodigies. All right. That's fair. Now we just have to play this yeah. and attack for five. I think we're looking to raise. What if here. we attack with everything? He takes seven. He, eh, mm, we can't then our opponent no, can just keep no. their creature back. Yeah, just just this guy. And then we're just chump blocking with Gearsmith Prodigy. Or I guess we could take it. We have to chump here. Is our opponent attack with the course? Okay. So yeah, we're just chump blocking the sentinel and then taking three. Makes sense. No, this is not attacking. Oh, this is not attacking. So sure, sure. Yeah, we just take... And the next turn we're double blocking with five, five, and two, two. We can, yeah. Hopefully we just draw ox wand or yep, disperse. Or disperse, right. And then hopefully our, we can just essence scatter this thing, whatever. Yay. Uh. Ugh. Still got to do it. I think he has one card in hand. Sure, yeah. 
It's one of those spots where it's so close. Like, I know the creature isn't that good right now, but it's just like we just need to keep stuff off the board right now. Oh, yeah, this is really rough. Maybe he'll just attack with this. Probably. More stuff? I wonder if O5 is good here. Not good against the auras, but our opponent Maybe does have, have like a first. bunch of like random our opponent does have a bunch of random ground creatures. Alright. Not a great card. Game. They can gain life. I've had that guy be ridiculous. I've had that card be ridiculous with the, the Regal Bloodlord. It's mm -hmm. like the five mana two four at the end of each turn. When you gain life, you make a 1-1 one, one bet. So, mm -hmm. Nice yep. little life gain synergy card. I think we need to double block the 7-7 seven, seven and hold, draw hold. something. Hold. So what about just eating the Courser? Mm -hmm. Does that give us more of an opportunity to actually win here? We go to one, which means we are locked into blocking everything for the rest of the game. Right, but we this Our gives us an additional green white. This gives us an additional turn to draw like a bounce spell as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hate it. I mean I, I think I like Field Creeper on Centaur Courser. And then figure out if you want to chump the Greenwood or not, but I think you just take it. Ugh. I think I think that gives us the I best don't think chance we of can winning. Chump the green wood. We have to yeah double block next turn I and think. if our opponent yeah if we double blocked like we would lose to a pump spell anyways right like if we double block field creeper and gearsmith prodigy and our opponent has a pump spell oh, alright okay. so there was a pump spell anyway. so, right. so if we double blocked we were still gonna get yeah yeah out. yeah it, it, it's one of those situations where if our opponent has anything we're completely screwed anyways so you have to just play like this is the board hope they have nothing and then try to try to win from that spot ooh there's invoke the divine right do we want to side in white I mean it's not a huge cost to just add some planes, right? Like, it's not like we need exact 16 islands in our deck. Is there any other white card that we'd want? It might... Uh, and the trusty pack beast, maybe? Mm -hmm. And even the Valiant Knight is not, like, a horrible creature on rate. Right? Yeah, it's so, just, like... So what I would do is, like, cut totally lost, even though it seems like it would be good here, right? Um, like, one of these add pack beast and this white card i mean i could also just see cutting the gearsmith prodigies like i don't even think they're that good we would want to play 17 land if we did that sure so we would play this card the pack beast this card and the valiant knight and then like maybe the wall of mist too like yeah. i like just slowing down a little bit cutting the gearsmith prodigies i think we have to keep the field creepers just because they are uh, important for the synergy. So we have 40 cards. We still need to cut one card and add, and add planes. Okay. So if you want to add lands, you have to hit that button. And then hit, hit, add like five planes, I guess. Is there a better way to do this? I think just clicking it does it. But Six sure. planes? Yeah. And then one uh, more. You want to do seven? Oh, wait. Uh, no. Okay. And then one more island. And we need to cut a card still. We this, we're at 41. No, we're not. We're No, no, we have 16 lands. 18, 22, 22, 24. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, I mean, there's like, do we want to keep totally lost over like uncomfortable chill maybe? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I do. Because yeah, of all the auras. Oh, where did our, our deck go? Oh, we ran out of time. No! <laughs> <laughs> did it submit our, our yeah, of course not. white? I don't think so. It's okay, we're just going to get the crazy curve out draw with the, uh, the Gearsmith thing. Yeah, oh, there's a Gearsmith. Oof. We mulligan that. We have to mulligan? Yeah. Yeah, I I can't keep a one land on the play. Shucks. Where'd our hand go? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Let's bottom. Let's keep this island. Let's go. We're on the play. Oh, we're on the play. One mana, one, two. What you got? We need like an axe or something, not an island. Yeah, well we just bought an island. All right, this one might be over soon. Let's not draw. We wanted to side out Prodigy, and we just drew two of them. 
Yep. <laughs> How's it going, Jinsaku? So, Paul, do you miss streaming? Are you happy that you get to stream once a week now? Uh, yeah, it's great. I definitely miss the interaction. Um, and uh, also, just like, I have found that I've played less current Magic, and this has really helped me kind of be more up-to-date. Because we do spend a large portion of our time, you know, playing Magic throughout the week. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm yeah. playing less real-life Magic. But, you know, we are definitely aware of all the things that are going on in Standard because, you know, a year or two before that, we kind of pretty much had a very similar Standard environment. But it's good to be here. Good, uh, fun, to, fun to do this and, uh, um, you know, hopefully we can keep this going. And uh, I know a lot of the members of Play Design are excited to uh, try out being um, being on the stream. Uh, we will have, let's see, what, what what is the schedule moving forward? So for next week, um, both Melissa and I will not be in the office because I'll be coming back from the Pro Tour and Melissa will be back from uh, Gen Con? Yep. Yeah. So Melissa will be at Gen Con, so um, we will actually just be replaying. I, I believe things might change, but currently, tentatively, the plan is that we are going to be replaying the Pro Tour Finals coverage okay. Um, uh, okay. so for that time slot next week on so Monday. No one's gonna stream. So no one's gonna no, stream. And then the week afterwards, um, we'll go back to our regular schedule. At some point, I'm going to be on vacation. I actually just completely forgot what it was. Uh, but uh, Donald Smith, Donald Smith Jr. will be joining us at some point, and I believe Adam Prosak as well. And I know Aaron Forsyth has also expressed interest in being on the stream. So. Nice. We'll have to pick a good time for that one uh, to get Aaron to join in and play some magic with us. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is just a great opportunity for, you know, anybody in R&D to come here and kind of uh, uh, expose themselves a little bit on the show. Hmm. How are we doing? Interesting. Uh, we're not doing great. Like our That opponents. is a very weird attack. Yeah. Our opponent's creature quality is just That better. seems like a really yeah, strange um, attack. Yeah, like like I said, like but our we have all these has just better creatures, but he did make a weird attack and <laughs> Oh these and Gearsmith prodigies his, uh, combat trick into our crappy guy that already got us value. Yeah. Wow, our creatures are so bad. They don't look so good here. <laughs> like, Centaur, we don't even have combat tricks because we're mono blue, like, like pump spells, so like, a singular Centaur Corsure just totally wrecks us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is why the, yeah, the other cyborg plan is just like, really good. Well, that's why we have to rely on sleep. Oh. Like, if we draw sleep, we have a very real chance of winning this game. Right. Divination into sleep? No, no, we can't. Or just sleep into nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like sleep into nothing. Ooh, no the classic sleep into nothing. <laughs> All right. Sleep into nothing is game winning. We are playing a draft deck, Auditus one, an no, M nineteen limited sleep. deck. It's also okay. We still have a turn. Yeah. Our opponent's deck has a bunch of. Solid critters. Yep, I mean we are 2-0. We are going to be playing against stronger decks. Does it does it match you up against records? I don't actually oh, I don't know, know the algorithm. <laughs> Do people know what the algorithm is for the pairings? Is it is it does it line up with your record? All right, I have determined that we have to draw sleep into nothing to win this okay. game. Okay, divination like into sleep. Divination into sleep works too. So I'm going to take all this. Yes, I agree with this line. All right, here we go. Divination or sleep. Boo! What oh, about instead field? Can creeper. I interest you in another field creeper? Well, we did play three. We put right. three in our deck, so yeah. we're gonna draw them. Right. All right, we're gonna have to chump block. But yeah, I'll we get one chump block. We can still creeper. draw sleep as long as our opponent just doesn't get overly aggressive. We can still win. Yeah, as long as our opponent just keeps attacking with like you know these small things. Yeah. I will, like, well, they're they're big things, but not all <laughs> the things. We just don't want to attack with all the things. Okay. See. Yeah. We're still we're still alive. Still alive for sleep. Well, if our opponent was aware of sleep as a potential card, they could just attack with every. I mean, we have all tutus. Like, what, our opponent can just attack with everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, Razaka, we don't actually spend a lot of time on kind of all the stuff going on with Arena. Uh, as we are mostly on, you know, like future sets and stuff. So we don't know, or I don't have that much information on kind of, you know, the uh, the release of uh, open beta. But maybe somebody else does who's in the chat. Ooh, our opponent, our opponent went with the, figured out how to attack. Our opponent figured it out. All right, let's block this. And then let's block a Swift Claw. Yeah, and then, and then take five. No, this is also attack. Oh, that's oh, that's way worse. Yeah. No, I don't think sleep isn't out anymore. Yeah, but I mean, we still have to just yeah. So we block the swift claw and the two two, and then take everything else. So right now we're taking five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't. You have want to... a key? Uh, I don't know if Trick is still in the chat, but he was giving out some beta. Oh, okay, we're dead. We're dead. He was giving out some beta keys before. We might be able to give some more out. That's actually a really good suggestion for future streams. We should just have like a pile of beta keys to give out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. See, we're still learning. This is just week three. So there's always, there's a lot more things we could do to improve on the stream. So any and all input is welcome. All right, so how many times do we play until we- If we pick up our second loss. Oh, I see, okay. There's also the option of drafting again. I don't, I don't know if, you're, mm. if you want to draft again. Maybe. What do, you, what, on, what do you think? if we lose. Well, it really depends on what the people want. If the people want to see us draft again, we can't do that. Uh, well, now we got to play this match. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't get our second loss. That's true. We're playing against another Jace. Look at all these people with extra keys to give out. That's awesome. Ooh, okay. Every time we see these openers, we're like, ah, I just need to string together some lands. All right, we're good. One mana, two, two. Yeah, we recently had the uh, arena stress test a few Fridays ago, and mm -hmm. there were a lot of beta keys given out during yeah. that. So, like, I think everyone who was in the beta at the time were given, like, five keys. Oh, I see. And they could just give them out to friends or whatever. What? <laughs> yeah, because the goal was to just get as many people as possible playing arena right. on that Friday. So I don't know what our opponent's looking to do, but Sovereign's Bite generally not the type of card you want to have in your limited decks, as it is just a little too low impact a lot of the time. But if you have enough life gain synergies, maybe it's a consideration. Well, our opponents no, we don't have a played no stuff, but we'll attack. I what if our opponent plays 3-2 flash and blocks our 2-2? Oh, How that would be that great. That would be yeah. perfect. Nope, our opponent has nothing. You gotta hit oh, I have to hit something. <laughs> it was waiting for me the whole time. Oh, and then you have to hit enter. I just thought the game would just end the turn no. for me. If our opponent taps out for a four drop, I will consider dispersing it. Like we are like very ahead on tempo. It depends though. Like I, yeah. I really want to play this next turn right. anyway, and I want to continue being aggressive. Yeah. So then you get our your we get the opponent down to thirteen. Play scholar of stars. Then, oh geez. Well, I guess we're just getting yeah. bitten. I, uh, wow. I am Have you ever been bitten twice you. before? Jeez. Maybe in like in some constructed combo <laughs> deck or something. Yeah. Maybe by like a mosquito. Uh, we'll go check out other streamers. Insert double sovereign's bite. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, you saw it. That was the second bite. So when I was in Japan, an American player that was there who like lived, just happens to live in Japan, was uh, doing. An M19 draft, and he drafted a red black deck with a lot of sovereign spikes, like six. And he showed me the deck, and he was like, Look at this deck I drafted. I went 3 0. And I was like, Really? <laughs> and it was just like, it had Lava Axe, it had all burn, it had Gutter Snipe, which was key, he said. So I think he drafted like two Gutter Snipes. I see. So it was just the Gutter Snipe Sovereign's Bite deck, and he also had Active Treason and Thud. The, the problem with those decks is like, you need to draw exactly like four lands. And yeah, you all just of have those to spells. Draw all your cards in the right order, too. Right. Will he kill the artifact creature? Could have the uh, the minus one minus one card, I guess. It's like uh, gain one life. Or oh something. yeah, sure. Gain one life, and then is it Nightmare's Thirst? Is that the name of the card? I don't know. Okay, okay. Oh, so if only a... he had. If only he held on to those right. sovereigns' bites. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we. 
can disperse. I like disperse. Yeah, I like disperse. And then just keeping and up as a scatter and attack with everything. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. Did I do it? Did I choose this one? All attack. Three attackers. Look at this. This is known as a tempo play. So we're teaching. Yep. We lost card advantage. We sacrificed card advantage for tempo. Uh, right, boom. Is, so we uh, two for one ourselves. We we lost. We spent two cards to deal with our opponent's one card. But, but you don't need every card to win. Yeah, but like. Oh, okay. He just, See. But we made up for that. it by dealing like seven damage that. Game. Right. So like it's not always the right play to two for one yourself like that, but when you're getting in so much damage, it's worth it. I don't think we want Wall of Mist against the Burn Duck. Yeah, we don't and have Shield any, any side cast. Action. No, I, I wouldn't sign anything here. Yeah. All right. Done. So if our opponent was red, I would be like, oh, maybe this is the gutter snipe. To be fair, Bobby, burn deck. like, sure, we have a lot of cards that don't work, but like, they at least work well together. I mean, the thing is, again, I'm going to give our opponent a little more credit. There's probably some life gain payoffs in that deck. I could even believe that our opponent's splashing white for the Blood Lord, stuff like that. There are some okay life gain rewards in black, but usually you want to be black white for... A lot of those payoffs. Like, what if our opponent has like three of Johnny's Pride Mates in their deck? Yeah. You know? In draft, all of your cards matter. Like, your cards are just valuable resources. So, if you're just spending a card to just gain some life or something, it's right. usually just not worth the card. You want your card to have impact on the board or trade with an opponent's resource. Yeah. That's not to say life gain is bad. I found that whenever you would just randomly attach incidental life gain onto cards, that card just gets way better, but it's just like generally life gain itself is not worth a card. Yeah, well, like that card, it, like, I, I can see that to new players or people who don't draft very much, the right. appeal of that card's two mana, they take three, I gain three. Right. That sounds great. What but you're not trading with your opponent's creature or card or or anything. Keep. Yes, keep. Yeah, I remember, uh, what was it? Yeah, there was a card in one of the older sets, it was like Nourish. It's like GG instant mm -hmm. gain seven life. I remember Actually, I had that in my going sideboard. even further back. <laughs> Heroes reunion. Oh, Heroes which is reunion. A, a green white instant gain. I think seven life gain also seven from, life. from invasion. All right. Okay. Let's see. A keep keep. So we have all all the lands we want. Why why did our card names go away? What happened? Here? I don't know. Okay, so... You just want everything, right? I do, and I don't think it matters the order. I think next turn we're playing Axe and the Gearsmith Prodigy, yes. so yeah, it so doesn't it really matter. So it just does not matter the order, so we'll yeah. just keep both. The... What else? I remember... Oh, one of the better life gain spells ever printed, uh... Was it Renewed Faith? Yep. Renewed Faith is a good one. Yeah, that was a, a really good card. And the old Mirari Wake deck. And, and, and we have, uh, and like, also, Renewed Faith was recently in Standard. It was in right. Amonkhet. No attack. And so it's, it's, it's we actually have a similar card in Isn't it still in Standard? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's still in Standard. It is, it's it just not seen played. Yeah, yeah. It's not in Standard to us, because we're in <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we kind of forgot about it, but it right. is in current Standard. Yeah. Astro Slide. That was a heck of a deck. And we also have better Renewed Faith. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I totally want to block this. Why would I not block this? Yes, yeah. block. Timely reinforcements. Yeah, that's a good one too. Did my life burst? Did anybody? Oh, I remember life burst. I know we have so. Uh, what is it like? Ops and Abalith now, but back in the day, Taros Faithful, Loxodon Hierarch. Those are good ones. Yeah, I think I do want to turn my Marauder's yeah. Axe into a five-five. Seems good. This, like this animator's been really impressive in our deck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have to play some subpar cards, but, I mean, it's won us a bunch of games. Yeah, it looks like a 1-3, but it's actually just a 5-power attacker oh, yeah. and a 1-3 blocker. Speaking of Ravenous Baloth, th th there was a story about Ravenous Baloth that I heard that was just awesome. 
And so this is uh, U.S. Nationals back when Ravenous Baloth was legal. And for those of you who don't know what Ravenous Baloth... Why didn't they... Oh, that's probably better. For those of you... For, the, uh, for people who don't know what Ravenous Baloth is, it's a 2GG creature. It's a 4-4. Four -four, and it says, Sacrifice a beast, gain 4 life. And it itself was a beast. So if you killed it or whatever, you can sacrifice it to gain life. So this is in Nationals. I don't remember the names of the players, but probably shouldn't even say it anyways. <laughs> but what happened was, uh, so one opponent, this is like the red-green beatdown mirror. Uh, one opponent plays Ravenous Baloth. It's on the battlefield. And the opponent goes, oh man, okay, that's a good one. On the following turn, the other opponent casts Threaten, uh -oh. targeting Ravenous Baloth. Oh no. What happened? I'm just saying oh, your story. Yeah, yeah. The opponent cast threat and targeting Ravenous Baloth. So then, naturally, the thing to do is, of course, sacrifice your Baloth in response to gain the life. But the opponent just tanks, 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 and goes, all right. So the opponent steals a Ravenous Baloth, okay. attacks for four, plays another creature, then passes the turn oh, back. Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> just, How did this happen? Both players could have gotten rid of the Baloth, but neither of them did. It was so good. What if the, in, in, the initial person who got their creature stolen just had the, just a stone cold read? They just knew that the other person just wasn't aware that you could sack the Bella. Wow, you have some beaters. Yeah, I'm. Ooh, this yeah, thing's gonna kill us. While you were gone, us. I was attacking. What? No, it's fine. Okay. We're, he's at seven. Oh, oh, he has we to should block. we should attack then. We're attacking with five fives. <laughs> um, I'm thinking he's gonna trade, chump, and then. Or double block. Around. He could double block, yeah. but I think it's, he probably would rather trade and chump. Right. I don't. I would not tag with anything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's we're good. good. Can Just, our opponent like chump take five and present lethal? Five, ten, seven. No, seventeen damage. I should probably read what this legendary bear does. This is Bear Cub's mom. Yeah, it does a lot. It's kind of a beating. Let's kill that one. Yes. So yeah. first I'm going to read it, because I was trying to read it, and then it told me to order blockers. Let's yeah, see. Mini overruns. Mm, all your nice. big things get plus one, plus one, and trample at the end of turn, and all your big things, uh, power, uh, creature power four more cost two less. All right, so yeah. yeah, do this. Kill, okay. Kill all the stuff. Yep. Play more stuff. We are kind of out of... Like, if our opponent just plays, like, a 4-4... Four -four, it our is kind of hard for us to attack. Our, mur our Marauder's Axe. Mm. When it was a creature. Nice. Plague Mare! Ooh. Bye dead, bye, Field dead Creeper. Field Creeper. No okay. more artifacts for us. Now it's going to start gaining life. I know. Our opponent's going to co come back. Has, has our opponent turned the corner? Let me just take that. Oh, definitely taking that, yeah. I guess. Well, now our opponent doesn't have a. Oh, he still has a good block for Scholar of, Scar of Stars. So. Right. Um, so we will not attack. We'll block instead. And we'll just play our stuff. Yeah. Punish you to wait until turn on the Plague Mirror would have gotten max value. Alright. You know what we need is sleep. I feel like we always need sleep. I still think we're in good shape. Like, we're yep. gonna be even on damage for a while. We have a lot of turns to draw stuff. We have a lot of sweet cards we can draw. Right, our, our opponent can't really attack us anymore, but our opponent is able to mitigate the one damage that we deal from the flyers with that neonate that's in play. Yeah, we can draw Divination, Sleep, Skilled Animator. What if they have a second Plague Mirror? Uh, we already drew both of our 5-5s. Five no, can't play around the second one. Yeah. Totally lost would be fine. Another skilled animator. Sleep, sleep, sleep! Any... Mm -mm. So on Wednesdays, the Magic Online, the Magic Arena team does a stream. Ooh, combo. Oh, that's a combo, you're right. Um, and on this stream, they not only play arena, they also answer any arena questions that you guys may have. So all of your questions that we don't know the answer to, that's a great time to ask them tomorrow. My favorite thing about, well, I like auto tap too, as long as I don't mess it up. But is the uh, the way the planeswalkers look? 
I don't know if you've seen one cast yet, but it's like bigger than all the cards. And oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It just yep. looks like way cooler. Yeah, yeah, yep. I have seen those. 2 a.m. time to sleep. So where would that be? Some Somewhere in Europe. That's my guest. When I, I was guess. in Japan, I watched your guys' first stream. It was 6 a.m., and I was awake <laughs> at, like, 5.30 a.m. What, what were you doing up? I was oh, in Japan. Oh, jet lag. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, it was uh, actually my first night there, I think. Okay. Was it? So, like, I got in what on a this? Monday. You guys stream on Monday. Walk with the 3 2. What was I. What was going on? Yeah. Oh, it was Monday, Japan time. But for you guys, it was still super early. It was still on Monday during the. Oh, all right. I figured it out. It took a long time to figure out. Yeah. Okay, so it was Tuesday for me. Yeah. It, it was my first night there. and But for you guys, it was Monday at 2 p.m. Right. So I. Yeah. Oh, got us. Got us. Yep. yep. All right, come on. Ooh, basically the perfect card. That's a great card. Land sleep. That would be perfect. <laughs> eh, a little awkward, but, oh, but we'll try oh, and win next turn. All right, attack with that guys. one. So what does the Epicure Blood do, do exactly? It just hit, it hits us for one more, right? When you gain life, you just. Whenever yeah, you yeah. gain life, each opponent loses one. Yeah. So I would maybe chump. He has one card. We don't even have to chump. Yeah, we're at 13. Like, we can chump with one thing. I mean, I would, we just take it, right? Yeah, this like, will take it. Yeah. I expect him to attack with this too, but... Oh, okay. Our opponent did not, so... Yeah, I'll just take this. Yay, us. Yeah, in case he has a removal spell. Three, for four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have lethal through the neonate life gain, right? Yeah. Ooh, and the essence scatter for the flash creature. Yep. Every angle covered. All right, we're covered. doing it. Target a player. We'll target this Jace. Kaboom! That was a magic card. Kaboom was a magic One card. One of the few magic cards that featured the exclamation mark. <laughs> what, what are the other ones? To arms. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wow, I don't know how you know all of them. I have a lot of weird magic <laughs> knowledge. Just so you know. But yeah. <laughs> Did you know? I don't know if there was another one that might have been it. Is there like a, like an unset card that might have oh, one? Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the unset cards very well. Right. We saw the game or with that match or I don't That was match. Look at all these oh. gold coins. We got Ooh, a reward. Oh. A Ooh. thunder turn migration. I yeah. love this card. Dino ramp. Alright. I'm pretty sure I actually designed this card. I was on the uh, rivals design team. Mm. I see. And, uh, yeah, and I was like, we need a we need a way to ramp I was the like, dinos. How, like, how do I ramp the dinos? I think I got it. Oh, apparently, incoming from the nut set is a. Oh, card. okay, okay, right. incoming. Our okay. opponent did neonate in response, but it was still exactly lethal. And even if our opponent did have something else, like we still would have been fine because we cast sleep, unless our opponent had two arms. Wait, does two arms untap all your creatures? I think two arms untaps all your creatures. <laughs> yeah. It's a white spell. I remember yeah. the art. They're, they're like pretty excited to get It would the be the counter to sleep. Kill, destroy. Yeah, that is a card too. All right, we're playing another game apparently. You, you just queued it up, right? I did. Yeah. We, we cannot be stopped. We yeah, cannot. because we could have considered dropping and doing another draft, but yeah. like I'm actually interested to see how far we can go with this deck. <laughs> I'm going to say, if I were to guess going into it, I, how, how many wins in a row do we need? Six? The six? I guess we need six wins. We are maybe three I would have one. So I would have said that this is a four-win deck. Yeah, you I know? would agree. Yep. You know? So the average expected record, four and two. And we, what are we, three and one? Or are we four and one? Um, I think we're three and one. I think we're three and one. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, we just have. Just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these Gearsmith prodigies. Pretty these, much every game, they they get in for two, and then they don't do anything. <laughs> But They're we don't really. very aggressive. They are. So do you go uh, Prodigy, 
then this, or do you go Prodigy, Prodigy? Ooh, oh, now, now we, we, now we, just now have... we have so many options. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks like Field Creeper now. Yeah, I'm gonna right, Field yeah. Creeper here, yeah. And the next turn we can just play. play everything. Look at this all curve. This Look at this curve. All attack. One attack. The only issue with the mono blue aggro deck is you do not have the combat tricks. Yeah, you have the minus two, minus O to all creatures. Right. It's okay, we got the Marauder's Axe. Oh, and... there is an uncommon removal spell. It's like minus six. Ooh. We have the Essence Scatter. Oh, I want to play Essence Scatter here. So, I'm just going to play this and attack. Uh, so let's just attack yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, just, just attack for four. Our opponent could have the the Flash thing. That's okay. Yeah. I think that's But we're okay with that trade. Yeah. We can also Essence Scatter it. Um, you're talking yeah. about the 3-2? Yeah. I think I'd rather just trade and Essence Scatter what? the next thing. Because they're going to... Because they're going to play a 4-drop, right? Yeah. Like, I'm fine with this yeah, trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This trade is good. This trade's in our favor. Right. If our opponent plays, like, a giant spider, we'd much rather counter that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Nice. All right, well... Got another we'll one. This, Got another we one. scatter their four drop. Right. You play with that auto-tap, it's easier to mess up your mana. That's true. However... Oh, we have to essence scatter this. Yeah. That's a two for We're one. We're playing mono blue. That is... <laughs> Reverse two for one. All right, and look at this. Get in for six. Oh, what a beating. Who should we equip? The Gearsmith? The yeah, the Gearsmith. Yeah, I think the Gearsmith is better in case they have another Archer. Archer, yeah. Or another, or some kind of minus one. Boom. And if also if we land. this and they kill it, our guy is We want to land. Give us a land. I would do the thing. We just have to top this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tempo. And you. Two attackers. Boom. So when he replays it, we swing with both. He has to block this one. Right. Takes two. Move it over, play the wand. Yeah, no reason to ox anything. Yeah. Ox our opponent's a question. What? What is... Wait, they don't have the land though, right? Wait, what? What? Is there? There's a fog, maybe. I don't know, but I would just attack and then figure it out later. I would. Oh, we could have another three-two. That's fine. I would. I would then ox my field creeper, right? Because our opponent got back skeleton archer. Good read on that, by the way. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is perfect. Yep. So he blocks this, takes two. We ox. We, we ox our two one. Ox our two one. Yes. Look at that. And then we can make our two one into a four four. So yeah, so so if we draw a if we draw land, we can equip our ox and play sleep, or actually we just play sleep. Never mind. Yeah, what he's am I at saying? Two. Our opponent's at two. So we know about two cards. Go to sleep. Now we just have to play sleep and yeah. just show the sleep. Yeah, I mean, even though I'm not super happy about showing right, the but sleep, but just guarantees the win. So. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there are situations Wait, where you feel like chain. you're... Did, did you notice this? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that they were all chained up. Look at that. They're frozen. Bam! Well, I feel like we've been drawing pretty well with this deck. Well, our deck is consistent. It's only one color. Right. Um, we yeah. have perfect mana base. <laughs> the it, perfect it, it's mana. It's true. We have perfect mana base. Literal perfect mana. Like, there is... A drawback to playing more than one color is your mana base is worse. Right. What are our favorite? What's your favorite favorite magic mechanic? Mm, favorite magic mechanics. Hmm. I like. Uh, this is not really an answer, I guess, but <laughs> but I like multicolored draft formats. So like my favorite formats were Ravnica blocks. Um, I liked Invasion a lot, mm -hmm. so just uh, mechanics where playing more colors is good. Okay. So like maybe Domain's a good example. Sure. Although I only think Domain's okay, but like that's like, but those kinds of mechanics. I'm gonna give all the super spiky answers. Uh, I like cycling, right? Because <laughs> nice. you you know you like smooth out your drives. I do not like Annihilator. I like no no. I like cycling and I like uh, I also enjoy Kicker. Basically, I like car. I, I like you know basically effects where um, 
you can do stuff in the late game. Like I like having access to mana sinks in limited formats and uh, you know, just making sure there's like more depth. Um, so I like I like those effects. So cycling kicker, uh, which are actually both in uh, the limited sets that we've had, and you know, uh, Dominaria has been popular, and also uh, uh, Amonkhet Hour. Like I, I really enjoyed uh, Hour Limited mm -hmm. with yeah. with Amonkhet. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. liked Hour Limited. I didn't play a ton of it right. in real life. Format slowed down a little bit, so you get mm -hmm. to, you got to do kind of your janky stuff. Yeah, but you could still be aggressive and get people too. I'm and going to back. mulligan. Oh, if we knew we were drawing four lands in a row, though. Of course. Wait, did I? Oh, this is my new hand. Well, it's like oh, the exact no. same hand. I don't think I can keep this, right? Mm, don't think so. Well, there's always game three. Right, uh, this is like the it. same hand, but yeah, way worse. So but... I guess I'll keep. Uh, no, I don't like buyback so much. I like mechanics that reward um, good limited deck building. Yeah. So like domain is a good example. Like if you draft a lot of mana fixing and just ways to get extra basics in your deck and like your payoff card is allied strategies. Right. Or that that star star green guy three mana from shards. Maka Riders? Yep. Ooh, we drew a land. But we're not doing so good. It's okay. We just need... Wow, we need to draw, like, artifacts and lands. <laughs> Do we double block? Mm. I don't think no. so. Our opponent had Recollect. Ooh, our opponent is, is missing, a, but okay. We got nothing. Now we just double block? We can, because we have to disperse, I guess. Yeah, I guess now we double block. Yeah, so... Do nothing. Nope. Oh, nope, 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 whoa, nope. no! That was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll take it. It's okay. We saved all of our misclicks and whatnot for the game we mulligan to five. And I also did the same thing last week. Yeah, I really wanted to just click no attack, but instead I clicked all attack. I don't know what I was really thinking there. <laughs> This is part of the, the byproduct of getting used to how everything is automated and then you just click. Just like, just click through. Maybe it should be like, are you sure? And it should be like somewhere else, I don't know. It already asked me a million times right, though. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, whatever, that resolves. That's I'll, how, I'll yeah. I'll still disperse it. The only way to come back from situations like this is through incredibly tight play. We also mulligan to five this game. Yeah. Research and development. Which is also the name of a magic card. Yes. Do you know what the card does? Yeah, I think so. Like yeah. the, the, the research part was some kind of card draw spell, I believe. I think development found a card out of your sideboard. Yeah, it was like a wish. Yeah. Yeah. All right. so dead. So this time I'm going to click no attack. Yeah, that's... And I think the reason why it got me is because even though it, I read what it said and clearly clicked on the wrong thing, it was the no attackers was uh, was first. Like the right. first option was no attackers, and I expected the uh, the option of attack to be first and yeah. the no attackers to be last. All right, what do we want to draw here? Gearsmith Guardian. Mm -hmm. God, Sky Scanner would be so good in our deck. Ugh. That Skeleton Archer is such a beating against us. It can be. There should be a Vault. The Vault should be in the upper right hand area. What else? What other mechanics that I really like? Um... Alright, I'm just gonna go to the next game. Okay. I agree. Run it. Run it. Mulling to five and drawing all lands is a good one. Yeah, we, we, uh, we clearly should have uh, scryed that Gearsmith Guardian to the top. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. All right. Here we go. Perfects. Perfects coming up. Okay, let's move after this after one. this one. Perfects coming up. We're playing against Chandra. Yeah. Should we change our guy? <laughs> we can. Sure. I'm gonna keep it. We got that divination. It's not really what Ooh, we want. I, like that too. I guess this is fine yeah, though. Yeah. That's our turn two play. Mm-hmm. We're just playing mono. We're we're shifting gears and playing. We're on the play, right? So just, uh, you're yeah. right. We're just playing mono blue control. Yep. This totally lost is gonna be key against his auras. Ooh, that's a good three. Yeah, we'll just play this. Yeah. Scholar of Stars, let's go! So, I think our opponent just has the 3-2, so I think... Just the flyer? Because our opponent had multiple 3-2s. Yeah, so I think we can just do nothing here. Um, oh, and double block? Well, I... I hmm. Well, I, I'll attack with the one guy and take three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't Essence Scatter. I'll Essence Scatter his turn four, I think. Right. But he has to have it, because he did have two. Sure. I mean, you also... Yeah, you can do it. You can also... I don't think it's absurd. You can transmogrify your own thing. Uh, but also, mm -hmm. just keeping up Essence Scatter this one turn seems okay. Because next turn you can hit cast. If your opponent plays nothing, you can play divination, and you're very likely to find a land yeah. to play the scatter for the follow oh, turn. Oh, I didn't click end turn. That's yeah. my fault. He didn't play anything. Interesting. Archer. Whatever. We're I just do want to counter everything. that. Yeah. He has four power. Right. Scholar of Stars. Divination. Yeah, what is divination? Nice. All attack. All right, we can start hitting for five in the air, maybe. Oh! Ooh. Doesn't get the animator, but probably gets the wand. Yeah. Yeah. Our opponent snapped off that wand. Yep. Oh, oh no! 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 Why? So good. Okay, we'll, we'll just right. find it. We'll just find another one. Don't worry. Bottom I don't both. I think we want any of these. Yeah. Put it right there. Yep. Uh, end turn. Yeah. That was a good turn from our opponent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he played two spells. They got both the artifacts got off rid the board. Of our sweet rare and yeah. made it so our this play was nullified. Right. Okay. Take it. No blocks. Could have dispersed our Thopter Maker. Yeah, I just feel like on average drawing a Thopter is worse than what we can draw. Mm, okay, so... Ooh, the Green Seeker. I'll totally lost this later. Maybe in yeah. response to that. Sure. Do you want to actually attack? For he'll just take Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. we attack with but we're not blocking and the dry green seeker is like definitely not attacking. So So yeah, I think we just pass and then He didn't block, okay. Yeah. I don't know what we could have had as, <laughs> as a blue deck, but I don't know. Mountain shock. All right, so he's using this. So Our opponent's using now, it on upkeep. So now we totally lost this this thing. So he, but then he's gonna draw. Wait, hold on. This is this is upkeep. How can yeah. we? How do we know it's upkeep? Uh, I don't know. I just assume our opponent did it on upkeep, or maybe not. I don't. I actually don't know. We what, are on upkeep. Yeah. yeah, that's really so, weird to do it on upkeep unless you like. So I don't want him to draw the skeleton archer this turn. So I'm gonna let him do okay. this. Okay. Yeah. 
The thing generally what you want to do so or opponent final line. But the generally the thing that you want to do with the dry green seeker is use it on upkeep only if you have no other plays on your turn. Otherwise it doesn't matter, right? Like if, if your hand is all lands, then you should dry and seeker uh, on upkeep because if there's a land on top of your deck, you reveal that and then you can draw into a spell. But if you have a bunch of other things to do, then like you just keep the giant seeker in play. Maybe he didn't have anything. Yeah, maybe we just take four, right? And then see if our opponent plays something. Yeah, maybe he could, maybe we want to totally loss our... Uh... Yeah, like do you think our opponent dry green seeker because they had nothing? I don't know, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I think our opponent just right. did it randomly. I will just do yeah. nothing. See what he does. Oh, okay, I don't care fine. about that. Alright, I guess we'll do it now. He must have had nothing. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Need an artifact real bad. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna not attack here. It was a thing at yesterday's GP. Oh, I did not watch. I did not watch the coverage. No, I mean, I. Yeah. All right. Are we countering this skeleton archer? I think so. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna double block this. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Gearsmith and this guy. Yeah. yeah. Double block this. Oh wait, wait, wait. You don't wait. Th this has potential to be a two-two, right? Do you not want to block with those two? Um, it does have potential to be a two-two, but what is a two-two doing? Like, I think this is how we're winning the skilled animator. And sure. if I have a one-three, <clears throat> it can block this green seeker if he puts. The oh, so you just don't want to lose it. a one. You think a one-three is better than a two-two? Right. Okay, sure, right. sure, sure. Uh, GGQQ. I mean, uh, on the very first activation of the green seeker, like the turn you play it, and then you know the moment it's not sick. All right, wow. so he's going to get his guy back and kill both of our things. And gain two life. Yep. And trample over. And now he can't play his archer unless he has a land. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if it's really worth it to save your... All right, I'm yeah. gonna play this. Then he's definitely gonna. He's play gonna the play the archer, yeah. And then we can skill and animate yeah. this. Thank you, Innis Core. You put it very well. Yes, all makes sense. This Talons of Wildwood is getting kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't think we can actually win this game. I don't think our card quality is uh, is high <laughs> enough. We can't compete with him drawing extra cards. Right. Yep. Essence Scatter. Yeah. So got our opponent to use, to cast the Archer, but I mean, we're going to need to try to put some pressure quickly here. Our opponent's also at 17 life. But yeah, the skilled animator is going to try to get us there. Okay, so 5-5 five, five still attacks through all of these things. Do we just have to block, actually? Uh, I wouldn't. I think just, like, it's just too much of a risk. Like, if I was my opponent, I would kill the field creeper. Yeah, Because sure. of all the artifact sure. synergies. And he knows we have skilled animator. Right. Oh, our opponent does? Yes. Okay. For from the duress. Oh, right, right, right. So we're just not attacking then? And just blocking? <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to attack. 
Like, how are we winning this game if we don't try to get in for some damage here? I think we just attack for five and we take three. And then yeah. try to put ourselves in a situation where sleep can maybe somehow get us out of it. Mm -hmm. I think that's our route to victory. Yep. We already divinationed. Yep. No. Yeah. We're waiting on our opponent. Yeah, the stride green seekers doing some work. Sin good. Mm hmm Sin good. Sin great. <laughs> Sin great. I wonder if this card's gonna see constructed play. I hope so. Yeah. I put it in a constructed deck for uh, spell slinging. Oh yeah? Nice. Oh! Fair? That's, yep. That's fair. Yeah. Gonna be real rough now. I'll trade Titanic Growth with Field Creeper. Yeah. Yeah, we get the double block on the Highland game. Yep. But again, our opponent does have that Green Seeker, so. Oh, another card. Could see an upkeep activation now because our opponent doesn't have a, a spell to play. Most oh, and and then missed. Okay, so that's gonna that's a spell. Yes. Whatever that card was. Is, uh, are there plan, plans for Wizards to do anything at Gen Con this week? Yes, lots of stuff. Um, so first there's a panel on Friday at 11. Mm -hmm. uh, the panel, the panelists are Elaine Chase, Aaron Forsyth, Mike Turian, and other, other people mm -hmm. of that caliber. Are you on this panel? I am not. Ah. Uh. Um, there's a lot of Wizards presence this year, like, there's like... I know that there's like people talking, like uh, uh, WPN staff talking to retailers and like that kind of stuff. Um, there's uh, cake on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Cake. The most important thing. But like all the wizard staff are going to be present, um, like handing out cake and basically celebrating Magic's 25th birthday. I think we attack. Our opponent's not going to attack us with Dry Green Seeker. You're probably right. Yeah. Uh, we're also streaming the beta draft on Sunday. Ooh. Who's been commentary for that? Mike Turian and Aaron Forsyth. Ah. Appropriate. We messed appropriate up. People. <laughs> <laughs> we messed <laughs> I would not have attacked. Why did you attack? <laughs> I guess we play this thing and try to draw a spell, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got I mean, play we're it. so behind, like, <laughs> we just... Oh! Okay. One land short. All right. This one's going to be rough. What we can do, because we have about 30 minutes left, and I want to be on time this time, uh, we've been going over a little bit, is uh, we can do the draft, and probably that'll be it, and then for the next stream, we can maybe follow through on the draft. Also, we might actually play some uh, some standard. I don't know who's actually going to be on the stream. No, no, it, it, I think it might be uh, us two again, right? Well, next week be. we're not here. Next week we're not here. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to close off the stream soon. So next week we're not going to be here. Melissa and I will both be returning from our trips. Uh, Melissa will be at Gen Con, and I will be coming back from the Pro Tour, which all of you guys should tune into this week, of course. Uh, it's the it's the uh, 25th anniversary Pro Tour. It's going to be uh, ridiculous. There's a... Uh, a ton of prizes being given out. Um, I don't know exactly. Is it like six hundred fifty thousand dollars in prizes for the team event by itself, and then the exhibition event, or the uh, the 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 event which is like one hundred fifty as well, which is like a beta draft, beta Rochester draft mm -hmm. with a few other sets. So, a lot to look forward to this week. Um, the the uh, the team pro tour is going to be standard, modern, and legacy. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of so a little something for everybody. My my legacy game is not a hundred percent on point, but I'm gonna definitely need to get uh, get a refresher course there. You'll be fine. I'll be I'll be fine. It's all cards that you played. Uh, when you they were young. cast a brainstorm and uh, me trying to figure out what they put back. Whew, that one might be rough. Uh, but you know, I haven't played. Legacy pretty confident in, with standard in a while, and modern. But I I watch all the legacy streams like. Oh yeah. Uh, when SCG stream, uh, no, when they 
and they have legacy opens I usually watch. I see. So yeah. I watch a lot of legacy, I never play legacy. Legacy's so hard, yeah. All right, we'll block with this guy. I, I will admit that I have played a decent amount of legacy on stream, so I know how a lot of the decks work. I just don't play them necessarily well. Uh, Actually, the only Legacy deck that I've really played a lot in tournaments is uh, Storm. That was a fun little deck to play with. I used to play a lot of uh, Stoneforge Mystic, like Jeskai Stoneforge. I don't know what they call it these days. Right, right, right. What, what, like, well before um, Deathrite Shaman was a thing. Although the Storm deck did get weaker, uh, as Gitaxian Probe is no longer in the format, right? Yeah, Gitaxian mm -hmm. Probe and, yeah. So, interesting. Uh, interested to see what a lot of the Legacy decks will look like. I imagine a lot of them will look similar, but Deathrite and Gitaxian Probe were the most recent bands, yep. I believe. Yeah, yeah, so that should definitely shake up the format a lot. But at the same time, there's a ton of different you know strategies that you can employ. You don't even necessarily need to have those cards, and a lot of decks don't use those cards. Jeskai Stoneblade is the name of the deck. Esper Stoneblade is now what's played. Okay. All right, are we, are we done? We're dead. We're done. We're dead. All right, we're done. Dead. Good game. I didn't even get to say good game, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's because it wasn't good game. It was BG. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> the last Legacy event I played, I was playing True Name Nemesis. What do we get? Vizier we of We got Yuna. this uncommon. Okay. He's like yelling at his staff. That card yep. was sweet. And we got this pack. We got this pack. All right, let's claim our prize. Oh, we have to claim the prize. All right. And then we have to claim our prize oh, for... Oh, we have to claim another prize. We got 1,500 wow. gems. What's the entry for this? Did we, we get our gems back? We, I think we, I think we got our gems back. I think if you win four... So hit play, and then hit... Yeah, hit that, and then see how many... Yep. Oh, so we just got so, our gems back, and we won some extra gold and cards and stuff. So, did we win this one? Yes, we, we, three times? we had So three four. is the magic number. You have to win three times. Oh, okay. We I won see. three times. Yeah, we won three times. Yeah, we won three and two. Okay. All right. Three and two. That's pretty good, I think. Like For that deck? Well, yes. I, like, I'm just saying, like, for uh, in terms of, uh, of prizes, like, going three and two and getting your gems back and winning four packs. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's yeah, really good. that seems very, very reasonable. I imagine a lot of people are able to uh, kind of go infinite with this. Yeah. Oh, but uh, the g gems don't scale up like a ton. Let's see, what's eighteen hundred? I mean, it's still like if oh, you're if you're a pretty okay. good limited player, like you, you should be able to. Yeah, do but well then here. like you can build constructed decks with the packs and right, and, and you still get random get prizes for winning stuff. Yeah, how many okay. packs do we have? Just curious. Twenty one. Look should at that. Should we open one? Sure. All right. Only you can one. also open. Did 10. I open all of them? Did I, I open, don't think so. Right, oh, okay. We got a sweeper. Sweet. I would take the cleansing nova out of this pack, personally. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay, right. uh, how do we get out of here? Let's get out of here. Okay. I don't want to open 10. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's just do another draft. Yeah, let's do a draft finish. quick. Quick draft. How do you quick draft? Uh, well, oh. the cards you earn carry over. So what happens, I believe, is anything that you spend in terms of buying gems. Now, I'm not 100. Don't quote this. I think it's any gems that you purchase and that you use get reimbursed. Uh and add it to your collection when the wipe happens. But again, I'm not 100%. Hey, we have this, this is an uncommon run, it looks like. All right, so um, two questions. First question, why does it look like this when before it was much bigger screen? Oh, nice, okay. And second is not a question, it's a comment, but um, I was saying before, every Wednesday we do, uh, the arena team does a stream. I think they start at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And they like stream arena and they answer all your questions. So that would be a good time to ask your questions about arena. A lot of cool cards here. Rabid by, of course, are the commons. That are... Should we do this? And then there are the good on commons. And then there's this. I mean, I, 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 I think we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Like, we don't have a choice. We, we have, have to take this card. Choices. No, no, there is no choice, Melissa. We must take rare. That looks cool, but is probably not great. Well, I, all right, I think I agree with you because look at his eyes. I know. All right, we have to take it. Right. Um, other options are this card's sweet, this card's Yeah, pretty we opened good. this in the last. Yeah. I think we're just going to go red, green, Sarkin's Unsealing. Let's I mean, just, this is basically a red, green let's card. Let's just draft the Sarkin deck. All right. All right, so we got Shock, which is sweet. Um, yeah, I think Shock is better than the Corsair. Do you? If, I, I'm not sure. Corsair might be better. 
I, I mean, I like having the cheap removal, and I, I actually, if I want to go in on the Starkins Unsealing, I want to take those Onaki Ogres. Oh, you're right. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm into shock for staying on I'll color. Also stay right? on color. We might we might not be red green monsters. We yeah. might be red something. Yeah, we else. might just take all of those uh the four twos. Ooh, I like Druid of the Horns, but there's also Luminous Bonds. Um, so the strongest cards in this pack are Druid, Luminous Bonds, and this other Druid. There's the Wind Mage too. But Wind I Wind Mage does not work yeah. very well with our I mean it works well with shock, but it doesn't right, work right. well with the rare. At I, all. I think it's between Luminous Bonds and Druid of the Cowl. Um, I know Red White is one of the stronger archetypes, but if we want to kind of push the Starkings Unsealing deck, I think Druid of the Cowl is very, very important yes. to being able to ramp. Definitely. So, Druid of the Cowl? If we want to just stay stick with this side. Uh... I mean, we, if, we're, if we're sticking with our theme, we gotta, you know, I mean, Luminous Bonds is the better card, but I like Druid of the Cowl a lot. What Let's go for it. What in this format is a creature spell with power 7 or greater? Uh, the Dragons. The Dragons... Palaka Worm. Oh, uh, Gaspark that, Twins. That old Gaspark thing? Gaspark Twins. Okay, we'll take Druid of the Cow here. Okay, Although, so just clearly, knows yeah, Luminous Bonds is just we know that card. Luminous Bonds is the stronger pick, but we're taking the Druid of the Cow for the sweeter pick. Okay, so here... I still don't think I want to take Fire Elemental over Spark Tongue, but what do you think? Um, if we're playing a ramp deck, this card is better. Right. Also, this we can just pick up any Right, right. We there. can just get that for free. I think it's also probably just the best card here. Uh, I mean, Gallant Cavalry is also good. Like, had we taken Luminous Bonds, I would have taken Gall Gallant Cavalry. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But All I right. want to go for Red Green Monsters. All right, Dragon answer. it is. It's yeah. possible that we just don't even play the Sarkins on Ceiling. Yeah. Dreadmaw. Oh, there's a Dreadmaw. Dread yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a 4-5. See, that's better than... Well, actually, is it better than Fire Elemental? I don't even know. I think it's better than Fire Elemental. I'd rather right. have 5 toughness than... Yeah, it does get electrified. Power. That's big. All right. This deck needs a million Druid of the Cows. It needs a lot of the uh, Elvish Rejuvenator, too. Yeah. Um, I don't really think I ever want to play the Catalyst Elemental. I would not want to play any of these. Like, I think the... Is a Hostile Manitar the best of these? I wouldn't even play this card. I know. This deck. Um, it's just like... I would play Highland Game if we need two drops, and I think like this card actually has the most potential as a sideboard card in case we just need to get stuff back. I like the Highland Game if you're looking to beat down. Or have a, a, as a really good sideboard option against very aggressive decks. Like, if, if, we're, if we're playing against, like, Oresco Swiftclaw decks, the Highland Game is... Yes. A, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that or... It's not Recollect. These. All right, it, I think it's just yeah. Highland Game then. Yeah. I so very rarely side and recollect. All right, There's so the ogre. probably taking this. No, I think I want to take this. You want to take the ogre over? Yeah, yeah well, the, the, like, you're just going to get a lot we of fives. We already have two fives. fives and a six. That's true. All right. So, yeah. Ogre it is. Come on, Sarkin's unsealing theme deck. That's what we have to draft. The Talons, I guess. I guess. Yeah. But we're moving it here. Sure. Uh, We don't care. Yeah. Big dude. Druid of Horns, just in case. Just in case. Yeah. Um, yeah, the I would dagger rather back. take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still over Fire Elemental. Yep. Uh, for for our uh, Druid. Naturalize. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Ooh, and got that last pick. Recollect. Did I move it? No, it's still there. All right. It looks like Electrify. Him. Looks like. Looks like the a very easy Electrify for us. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty easily. And, and we might table the the ogre. Yep, we probably will. Yeah, nothing else. Are there other four there. power payoffs? I mean, there's Gore Claw yet. Ooh, gotta take it. Oh, no choice, no choice. You're there right. are no choices. You're right, no choice. No choice. Gotta take it. We passed Chromium once. I will not make that mistake again. Elder Dragon, no, get into our deck. No, Let's you're right. go. You're right. All right, we can take the plummet so this way they can't kill our flyer because we have it. <laughs> Should have taken the Luminous Bonds. Wait, at this point, can we just take Luminous Bonds? Yeah, we probably can. Uh, there's also Sky Scanner, which there, there's not a lot of synergy there in red-green. But, I mean, given that we're splashing white, I might be interested in just taking the Luminous Bonds. Yeah, I actually like yeah. Luminous Bonds. Yeah. Boom! I'm hiding open form, though. Yeah, seems reasonable. Rejuvenator? Gotta take This is a ramp deck, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so happy about Rejuvenator. Right. We have to play at least one game with this deck, right? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Gift of oof. Paradise or Colossal Dreadmaw. I don't know. I mean, how hard is it to get fixing? Like, Dreadmaw is nice. Hard. We have two sixes. I think we just take the Gift. I think there's just always going to be fatties we yeah, can get, right? Considering we're, we are definitely splashing yeah. white and have Let's two take white the cards. Let's and this go. is an uncommon, so you're less likely to yeah. see it. Nice. Ooh, Drew to the Cal! Whoa. I like it over Fiery Finish, for sure. I didn't even... <laughs> you didn't even look at the back. card. <laughs> uh, Courser, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I like. The I, other I know one we was have four three for the Sarkins thing. Ooh! Oh wait wait wait! Oh my god! Okay, so <laughs> is this a six six or a seven seven? This is a six six. Okay. So, so I like Rejuvenator, but this is fixing. Okay, I was looking at the seven power creature, but Rejuvenator is probably the correct. Oh pick. my god, you're right. There yeah, is yeah. a seven power creature. No, I think Rejuvenator is honestly what this deck wants. I think all you want to do is ramp and fatties. Yeah, I just want to play as many yeah. Rejuvenators as I have. Yeah, that's fair. In this that's deck. fair. That's fair. And then uh, oh, the ogre. Is, uh, yeah, I guess yeah. we're playing an ogre. I mean, I think I'm just playing it over da Daggerback. Uh, what can do you we play? Splash? Yeah, you take wait, that. Wait, no. why do you want to? No, 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 no. Take, take the board. Take the board. Take the board. <laughs> Oh, I'll plummet, good, for, plummet for the for board. Anti uh, our deck. Sure, strike. Sure. Sure. It might yeah. make the deck. Uh, Fog, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right. Ooh, I'm, I'm liking how this this pack so, two was nice. So we have uh, 21 playables and still a pack to go. Nice. This card is surprisingly good, right? It blocks everything. And sometimes you draw cards. What else do we have? Oh, Fiery Finish was the card we passed. I just didn't look at. Yeah. How much okay. removal do we have? We have a Luminous Bonds. We have one a shock, shock. And an Electrify. We have a Combat Trick. Luminous Bonds, Electrify. And maybe this Dragon. I mean, we have a lot of threes, right? Like, I don't think we... Like, the Armasaur is we fine. We have a lot of threes. But we have a lot of threes. I don't think we actually need another three. So maybe we just want, like, this... This is a really inefficient removal spell, though. Yes. Agreed. So, I mean, is it like Spider or Fiery Finish? I could buy Spider. We do have two Plummets, so I don't really need a Giant Spider. Also, I'm going to move this over here. Yeah. I could see Highland Game also not making the deck. And Sure, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, sure yeah. Strike. For sure. Yeah. We can make cuts later. I mean, do you just, do we yeah, just take I'm this anyway? Yeah, maybe I'm off 2-5. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, I think I'm on 2-5. I'm, I'm All right, back let's on just five. let's just take 2-5, whatever. All right, back on 2-5. It's so big. 3-3. Three, three. Ugh. we got to take 3-3. Three, three. Over 1-1 one, one draw. All right, fine. We've got to take 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we have so many 3s now. I'm just never taking a 3-drop. But now it's just all 3-drops. Well, we wouldn't play any of these. Yeah. Like, this pack is just uh, I guess. nothing. I guess we take... We could take this in case we want to kill two toughness creatures. Like, we would not play any of these. Bogger Brute or Dagger back? I guess I can uh, I can make the case for Diamond Mare. Two drop that you can gain life against aggressive decks. Yeah. So maybe you just take Diamond Mare here. You can take whatever you like. Right, we'll I have take, no strong opinion. We'll take the horse. Do we have Elves? We have Elvish Rejuvenator. And I two think I like this We have card, two though. Druid of the Kells as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't mm -hmm. think it's good. Enough. Yeah, we just take Rock's Oracle. And it's this good. only finds itself, not any elf. Right. Yeah, I think there, I did do a draft for somebody on two of these. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right Oracle's good with Sarkins and Ceiling. Dreadmaw. There's the Dreadmaw right. that we wanted. Yeah, we got. The, see, we we got we got the fat. Manolith. So, I think we want a Manolith. Would we actually play Manolith? I don't think. We, we might want the extra white source, right? Um, I'll take it, yeah. but I'm going to put it in the sideboard and probably not play it. All right. Um, okay, so we we could take this in case we want another four-power guy. We already have two plummets. I don't think we would want a Titanic growth. Yeah, I have, again, no strong opinions here because it looks like we're, like, super over on cards anyways. We're very over on cards. We're super over on cards. I'll just yeah. take a card. Ooh. We didn't get any uh, dual lands. Yeah. Which is why I think we might need to play the Mandalith. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, there's a dual land, but... That's game. All right. So let's... Th let's do that again. Let's do this. 
Let's take out Ghost Form, the combat tricks, maybe. I'll leave one in for now. The Highland cut Games. One, cut one Highland Game for now. We have like a million cards, right? We have a million cards. 6, 15, 19, 22, 25 cards. So we need to cut two more cards. I wouldn't cut any six drops. I like um, our fives. I like our fives for sure. I could see cutting Giant Spider. Or yeah. like, I could actually see cutting this. So we have some flying defense. I mean, what does, what does Runic Armasaur actually shut down? Dried Green Seeker. Drew to the Cal. Yes. Oh, no, it doesn't. That isn't a mana ability. Oh. So okay. just Dryad Green Seeker. So it's just you're only playing it for the body. Right. So I think we actually cut it. So what are we up to? I also don't really like any of our twos. Oh, I don't either. <laughs> like Highland Game, Diamond Mare, and Titanic Growth are all pretty bad. I just I wanted to do something on turn two. What's Neonate? Somebody, people are saying Neonate. Neonate, I thought it was the black uh, creature that... But it must not be because they're saying Neonate. Oh, 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 Neonate gets stopped. Oh, Neonate gets thing. stopped by the 2-5. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a great cyborg card then. Yeah. I mean, is it crazy to just cut these twos and then just uh, play a bunch of threes? How many cards are we? We're at 6, 14, 18, 21, 24. So we just need to cut one. So we can cut... Uh, like the diamond mare. Yeah, the question is like, how how many planes do you want to run for this? So we have the gift. Yeah, great question. Um, like, we want to play at least one more mountain, I think. I think five is kind of low. I think we oh, want yeah, minimum for nine sure. forests because we have two Druid of the Cows. And if we play two planes here... Yeah, I think or, uh, So two planes gives us three white sources, but we oh. also have... Uh, rejuvenators to help us find white, so that seems reasonable. I think we need two points. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I wanted to add one, oh, but hit, it, hit it deleted land. it. So I think we want to add a planes and a mountain. Yeah, and I think I yeah. agree. I think this is the mana here. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm not super happy with this configuration, but we don't really have much of a choice. Yeah. Uh, how are we on four power things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, okay. That's a lot. All right, all right, all right. I can get behind that. I'm just wondering, do we... Uh, let's take a look. At, let's just look look over the options. I think... There is still that mana lift. I don't think we care about the Basilisk that much because we already have big creatures. Mm -hmm. But, so, yeah, there's mana lift and there's also just, like, Runic Armosaur. I'm just, like, I'm wondering if this is just so big that we just play it. Oh, because it's just like such a big body. Right, it just brick walls. We like, could play look at our deck. It like brick walls. Spider. Cor yeah, people are saying cut Corsair, but I like Corsair too. I mean, I could see cutting. Ugh. I guess I can see cutting Corsair. Yeah. I can see cutting Titanic growth, actually. Yeah, unless we actually really value having like a singular trick. Yeah, we don't have any combat. Tricks. We have like shock and electrify. I can see cutting Highland game. Yeah, I can see cutting Highland yeah. game. And then just playing the Armasaur. And then just like, once we hit three, we can just play a bunch of blockers. So, no mana lift. I think. We do we stop have... at six, and we have no mana sinks. Yeah, we have two, so it two will Druid only of the Cows. Well, think about it this way like, we have two Druid of the Cows. A gift of paradise and two rejuvenators so that's like we have a lot of mana so yeah, like yeah, I'm I even less interested in having I mean right. yeah I'm less interested in having cheap things too just like I want big fatties do we have anything else like that's big that we might want to play nope one of those yeah this looks I guess there's like fire elemental but I don't think we like unless we think yeah, this is a mana thing yeah I mean Unless we determine that we want like another big thing, I can see cutting a three for a big thing. Yeah, I can see that too. We have, we do have three sixes, which is a little high, but we also don't have anything to do with mana. We have a lot of rejuvenators, gift of paradise, three ways to ramp. This also looks reasonable. I don't know if cutting a courser for fire elemental is correct, but it could be. Also, it's double red. 
which is Oh, uh, like, yeah, I, I'm... Yeah, I don't like Double Red, actually. With six mountains. I mean, we do have Gift and two Rejuvenators, so it's not too absurd to, like, not have the red, but... Well, I think we can play one game and just okay. submit like this. There's also... Okay, sure. Because if we keep talking about it, we don't right, have time to fine. play one game. All right. We can play a game and just concede, too. Sure Strike seems better than... No, I think Titanic Growth is just better than Sure Strike most of the time. Like Yeah, Titanic Growth can just win that, games out that of That extra nowhere. power is very relevant. We're still to fairy. We should have switched to something more green. Green, yeah. Vivian. Mm-hmm. Well, we have to. The thing is, we... Whoa, uh, I can say hello five times. Whoa, hello look at that. that. <laughs> You're so friendly. <laughs> Sure Strike is better against uh, Death Touch creatures. Ugh. Let's mulligan. All right. Let's keep. keep. Oh, yeah. Oh, this hand looks great. Yes. Let's not Big keep card? the land. No nope, bottom. All right. Whoa, why did it do that? What, what did it do? I don't know. You just have this. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. This Rock's Oracle looks great. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what would be awesome? Sarkin's Unsealing. That Let's just would draw be that. Awesome. Yeah, we can Rock's Oracle into it and then set up a sweet turn when we play this. Or just draw it now. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> like, I, I you have to dream big. The best case scenario. Wow, our opponent has Timber Gorge and Woodland Stream in play. Wow. Yeah. All right, I've never played this card um, in Arena before, so... Um, All right. Ooh, I, look at that. We... Uh, we. I see. Attack. Yeah. Well, we did put a lot of lands on the bottom of our deck, so we're closer we to White Source yep. and closer to our uh, Sarkin's thing. Yeah. Do we play double... I think we what just played... What is play... our opponent doing? I think we just played double, double Ogre next turn. Probably wanted Mountain? Yeah, probably. But oh, well... We have the mountain in hand, yeah, too. Yeah, we, we do but have a mountain. I guess if we get mind rotted or something. Oh, whenever they draw. Whenever we, we draw, right? Oh, wait, whenever... Whenever <gasps> you draw. I hope it doesn't mill our planes. We Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's whenever they draw. Because we, we didn't draw, get milled, right? right? All right, so um, yeah. I like I like uh, yeah, double ogre. Yeah, like now, yeah. That, now that we know what our opponent is doing, right. I like double ogre here. Yeah. Uh, it will tap the correct lands, right? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> All attack. Attack with all of my one creatures. Beatdowns. Yeah, when they draw a card, we get mill for two. Oh, one of the plants. One down. One down. One down. It's okay. Got two more sources. It's okay. We're just giving our opponent the beatdowns here. Yeah. They're in a lot of trouble. We have two four twos. Oh yeah, we got four lands on the bottom too, and we mill two lands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, eleven oh, lands. Oh, we're gonna get milled a ton, but our opponent's okay. gonna take a. Our beating. opponent like has nothing, like unless they have a bunch of fogs. Ooh. All right, All right. so we milled no more white sources. A lot of. Okay, we Fat drew a Dreadmaw. Features. Let's play Dreadmaw and try to end this match in sure. time. Yeah. Boom! We got a lot of beaters here. Yeah, our opponent is taking a beating. Ooh, I think Runic Armasaur probably gets the boot. Yeah. Yeah. We can play a 5-drop or something. Yeah, I mean, we could also bring in the uh, Naturalize. Right. Yep. Like they might also. Have I don't know what our opponent is doing. They might besides... also have millstone. Yeah. So this is in our opponent's deck. They discarded it to sit. Oh, sleep would be bad. Yeah. Dwindle. Okay, nice. naturalized definitely coming in. Yeah. I mean, we still have. Oh no, we don't have. Yeah, we have lethal. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Yep, now they have a blocker. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, okay. Play the Oracle. 
play the Oracle Keep Shock up? No, I would or just play Oracle Attack with everything. And if our opponent eats Elvish Rejuvenation. Oh, they, they had to have to block this. Yeah. Yeah, they're tapped out. I didn't right. realize. Okay, sure. I like the F6 attack with everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, That's okay. what you gotta do. Attack with everything. <laughs> Even this guy. Yep, yep. Get him in there. <laughs> Send a message. So we did mill another white source. That's fine. Don't don't need. And Do besides, need. still have a planes in our deck. Dream is still alive. Boom. All right. I just won't even play the land. Yeah. So they. Where are our new cards? Oh, On they the have right side. Well, just hit, just hit. Just hit. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Spark tongue. Yeah. Okay. okay. And luminous bonds. Boom! Got him. We did it. All right. All right. One more game. Turbo. Let's go. Turbo. Yep. No thinking. Just play. No thinking. Just play everything. Bring it. Naturalize. Where Over are here. you? Oh, there you are. And let's cut uh, giant spider. And we want to cut two five. And bring in any. I can see bringing in another titanic growth, but I think yeah. I like bringing in actually Highland game. Or there's fire elemental. I can see that too. Yeah, big creature. All right, big All creature. All right, let's go. We're done. Oh no, Derek Zilla is taking the clock. Are we uh? Doing the thing we did last week, where we're raiding something? I don't know. Huh. Let me ask. Yeah. Play Recollect? Oh, yeah, we Recollect. Could have Recollect, yeah, that, that's Recollect actually, would have uh, been real nice. That's actually a good call. Great suggestion, yeah, folks. If, if we weren't playing so fast, we could have thought about right. Recollect for sure. But if we go to game three, I would board it in. Yeah. Palladium Morphs. Yeah, there is a new stipulation. For all of our drafts, if we ever open an Elder Dragon and it's two of our colors, we must take it. And if it's not two of our colors, we'll we are consider it. waiting for 46 seconds. All, all right, right, here we go. We did it. Yeah. Don't know, uh, I think, like, maybe Trick or somebody is involved, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, as we're winding down, we only have a few minutes left. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a weekly stream that we have on this channel from 2 to 5 p.m. on Pacific uh, Pacific time. Next week, we're going to be live, but we're not going to be live. So we're going to be streaming something on the channel, but Melissa and I will, will not be here. Uh, so we're going to be actually just replaying the Pro Tour Finals coverage, um, I think, uh, next week. I think that's the plan, right? That's what I saw in the email thread, at least. Uh, so that's the place. So we're not going to be here. Uh, yeah, again, we will be flying back. All we back. know is that we're not going to be here. All we know is that we're not going to be here, and not a, a play design is currently not slated Woo! Uh, to uh, to be on. So the week after, we'll be back, same time. And again, week over week, we're going to be looking to bring in various members of R&D to join in and, uh, yeah, just play some magic. Who do you guys want to see on the stream? Want to see uh, Aaron Forsythe? Yeah. We get, there's a lot of options. Maybe Gavin. What if people? Gavin's a fan favorite. You know, you know, if we did do the vote thing, people then get so sad when they're last. <laughs> like, <laughs> who would you like to see on the show? That's and fine. then somebody's just like ten percent. Oh, do they have a counter? I'm gonna. Attack it doesn't matter. First. Uh, attack first. Maybe they'll bounce it or something. Oh yeah, this is great. Attack. Oh my god, the suspense is real. All attack. One attacker. Anyone but Chiano. Do wow. I do it? Do wow. I do it? Unreal. Unreal. Do I play the rare? Yes, of course you play Fine. the rare. Fine. Play the rare. It's getting cancelled. 1,000% cancelled. Alright, fine. fine. It resolved. Mark Rosewater. Yeah, I, I can believe that one. Yeah, he's not... You know, he doesn't stream. He isn't a As long as he doesn't scream at us too he's much. He's in a lot of interviews. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't play oh a lot of goodness, magic. Oh my goodness, I want to draw a land. But it doesn't really it matter. Doesn't matter. We have the ogre we have too. This thing. I do want to draw land too, I agree. Yeah, I want to play Thornhide Wolves. Our opponent played... Ah, I see. Right, I'm going to attack first. Oh, yeah, sure. Not F6ing this time. With the oh, hope that he great. taps out or something. Look at this. Sarkin's, something. Sunk, Sarkin's unsealing. Lava Axe. Hmm? 
Okay, did. that's fine. Nice. I mean, we could. I don't want to save it. We could save I'm just it. Gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just. No, would you coil there. rocks oracle or? I like thorn hide wolves just because um, it attacks through anything our opponent can play. But on the other hand, this helps us hit land for. Yeah, but off. if we miss a, on a land, we can still just play rocks oracle. Sold. All right. Uh, to the face. Target this Jace. Face is the place. Ooh, that was that was a powerful beam of fire. That looked about appropriate for four damage. Oh yeah. Good job, arena team. Where is our seven uh, power thing? I don't, do Nowhere? we have a seven power thing? No, we don't. No, we, we took a rejuvenator. We did not open a Palaka yeah. room. <laughs> nice neonate. And we boarded out the two five. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're all good here. UGG. Oh, dwindle. Okay. Fair. Or a Dreadmaw. Okay, so, uh, so now we just do this yeah. and kill sure. this face? I don't, I, face? I don't know. I don't know. Just play it and, and just click on something at random. I like I like that angle. All right. Oh, aggressive. <laughs> face is the place again. Uh, no That's attackers. Next turn we have uh, Onaki Ogre for four to the dome and Titanic Growth plus Colossal Dreadmaw. Yeah, he's very dead. Look at this. Sarkin's unsealing. What what is our damage meter so far on it? Well, we've eight done damage eight so far. Eight oh, okay. Now now we got to get rid of that one, right? Probably. This uh, makes opponents lose life. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So ogre. Well, now we can rocks oracle. Well, no, but we have ogre plus titanic growth for lethal. But, lethal. But we have rocks oracle plus titanic growth. For oh, oh wait, I didn't see the seven mana. We have seven mana. Okay. I uh, like how you're just like assuming it's gonna tap fine. <laughs> Oh, you're, yeah. I'm gonna kill yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, we don't have lethal this turn. Well, we do if we if he doesn't block. Right. Uh, oh, he's. Oh, us. we have lethal. All right. Yeah. All right, that resolves. Just cast it. <laughs> Let's draw this. Okay. Oh, we drew the white source. We did okay. it. All right, Titanic yeah. growth. You. For lethal, the Sarkin's unsealing was ridiculous. All right, now we just have to make sure that yes. we. Don't mess up. We the had attack. four. We got ogre next turn. We have four triggers off this thing. That was a good first pick. Up yeah. top, we got there. Yeah. Yes. I want to play more of this. But we can't. It's five hundred one. <laughs> but we go. can't. It's five hundred one. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. We'll be back in two weeks with a live stream. We will be. Uh, we will be having something airing on this channel next week. Uh, it'll be a likely pro tour coverage. But thank you all for watching. I'll be back. I think with Melissa actually again uh, in two weeks. Two weeks. We're, yeah, and yeah. we're going to be streaming arena. So. Thank you all for watching. There's a Famish Paladin, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks.